In the summer of 2010, I was approached by a very unusual man. The story of that contact is described by him in this interview. I've called him Charles. He spent many years working for the elite group that considers it their responsibility to run the planet. He's not an academic, a historian, or a scientist. But he wanted to communicate some important information about the worldview and philosophy of this group from their point of view, what they're trying to achieve, why and how. He and I have established a friendship based on mutual respect. In this interview, Charles explains his own agenda. What he wants to see is what he calls a fair contest. There's a great deal of material that was not covered in this interview. It is, to some degree, the start of a dialogue. The group of 33 that Charles works with is indirectly using this opportunity to communicate. I've reported this communication as accurately as possible. As is normal journalistic practice, some of the information was asked to be off record at this stage. As you watch this interview, you will see that there are a great many unanswered questions. I would like there to be a further interview, but any decision about this is not mine to make. For me, the second half of 2010 has been an interesting time. It's culminated in this opportunity to communicate indirectly through this video and through Charles himself with the group of people who are running the planet. And this is what I'd like to take this opportunity to say. I understand the history and context that Charles has explained, some of which is in this interview. But there is another way. If you are to be the true leaders of the planet, you can be the captains of Spaceship Earth with responsibility for the entire human family. There can be a massive clean-up operation. You know that the technology exists. Between us all, this can be done. Clean water, clean air, clean oceans, free energy, abundant wildlife, health and education for every human being. Planet Earth could be a paradise planet, a model for this sector of the galaxy. The human race is a massive long-term experiment. This information, confirmed by yourselves via Charles, will not be new to many of those watching this video. Charles has explained that the extraterrestrial race who initiated this project are letting everything unfold with a philosophy of non-interference. It's arguable that the optimum conclusion for all, an outcome that would delight those whose project this is, would be for the human race to take responsibility for itself and show just what they can do. Your legacy to remain for time immemorial here and elsewhere, could be. We cleaned up the mess. We inspired and funded the world's brightest and best from every nation to work together to solve the problems. We fully restored this beautiful, magnificent jewel of this solar system. Look what we did when the entire human family, organized, focused and under inspired leadership, worked together to show just what could be done. So this is Bill Ryan from Project Avalon and it is Saturday the 18th of December 2010. And this is one of the more interesting interviews that I've ever had the privilege of conducting. With me is a man who I've given the pseudonym Charles and as the name suggests he's very English and for reasons that will become apparent as you start to watch this video he has graciously declined from being filmed with his face on camera. You will hear his voice which will be unedited and unfiltered and what Charles has to tell us on record may be one of the more important stories 
that you will have heard for quite a long time. And this is very unrehearsed, as they all are. And first thing I want to do, Charles, is to thank you. And I really mean that, because I didn't know this was going to happen until it actually happened. And as an introduction to our viewers here who are only seeing the back of your head, what are you willing to say about who you are, the nature of how we connected with each other, and the nature of your work? Well, if you want to start with who I am, you'd need to start quite early on, wouldn't you? Okay. Um, because otherwise it doesn't make sense how someone from Hackney gets to where he is. And for the benefit of the Americans, where's Hackney? It's, um, basically, if you're a Cockney, you're born within the sound of Bow Bells, and I was born in the Bow Mother's Home, so I'm a Cockney. It's in North, well, East London. Um, and that's where I am, I'm a Cockney. But I'm from a very working class family. But I haven't ended up in a working class situation um, through my own determination. And some would object to the kind of determination I've used. And they'd be quite right. Um, so I didn't go through usual avenues, shall we say. But in early life, I started as a football hooligan. Um, I was then recruited by a fascist organisation. Um, I realised, uh, as my education grew, you grow, you, your education grows in life. Um, and as I got older and wiser, I realised that I was actually more useful to them than they were to me. And you were being watched this whole time, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was, yeah. Um, right from a very early age. Um, I, I wasn't aware of that. Mm. I wasn't aware of that until many, many years later. Mm. Um, and I know you've, uh, you've had other people that you've spoken to in the same situation. Yep. And I wasn't aware of it. Mm. Um, and it, was, it was quite... Well, it wasn't a shock to find out, actually, because I always knew that there was something odd about me. Um, and you, you hear that a lot, you hear a lot of people, that, you know, uh, I'm saying it with realism. There really was something odd about me. I think, well, you've met me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think there's something very odd about you. Okay, so... <laughs> I say that as a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, let, me, let me... Odd sounds disparaging. Okay. Um, let, us, let us say um, uh, unusual or even special. Okay. W would that be fair words to use? Uh, yeah, I'm not really into blowing my own trumpet in that mm. respect, you know. Mm. Odd seem happy to me. My vocabulary isn't as good as yours, so Let's say I'm not formally educated. That's and that's not a crime at all, and it's not your fault. But I'll play you chess. And you probably win. I'll, I'll give you a run for your money. I bet you would. But you have talents and abilities and characteristics that are unusual. Yeah. Would that be a way of describing yeah. it? Yes. Rather than say odd. Yeah. Let's say that you have you have particular abilities that attracted the attention of the of some people who had reason to call upon those abilities later. Is that I, right? I, I, have a, I have natural abilities and, and, and that, that doesn't make me special. There are others like me, you know, you, you've got athletes, etc. Um, uh, thinkers maybe, you know. Mm. Um, but yeah, I've got, a, I'm fairly quick in a very stressful situation. Mm. Um, I'm not big of physical stature, but that doesn't mm. matter at all. Mm. Um, and you haven't been in the military, have you? Never. But you're the kind of person who the military would love to get their hands on and turn into one of the... My natural father was very high up in the military. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you're probably the kind of person that the SAS would love to get their hands on. Uh, I'll, um, they are physical soldiers. Mm -hmm. um, they wouldn't have a chance against me because I w they'd already be ill before they even met me. Right. They, I would weaken them before I dealt with them. Right. They're playing a completely different game. It's like bringing a knife fight to a, a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. You know, they're no. not they're not going to win. You know. Yeah. Um, it's all over before they turn up, is what you're saying. Yeah. 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 I would already have done my homework long before that. Okay. So we were talking about that because what I was trying to do is to paint a picture of your characteristics and one of the ways to describe your role is a kind of quasi-military role. Fair to say. Um, is there anything that you would like to continue saying about how you, let's say what happened between those younger years when you weren't sure about what was going on in your own life, mm -hmm. but you became increasingly aware that there was something going on around you and other people seemed to know something about you that you didn't. Mm -hmm. 
And then sometime between then and now, all of that came into focus. That's right. Um, well, where do you want to start? How far do you want to go back? You t we've got all the time in the world here. People uh, watching this will be fascinated already. So, yeah, yeah in England, um, in, at that point in time in England, there was a, um, you had reform schools. Um, mm. They were commonly known as ball stores. Mm. Uh, and I spent some time in those. In fact, that's where I got any education that I did get. Mm because it was drummed into me, it was the only way mm. that I would listen long enough to be taught to read and write, etc. Because an ordinary school, what was also figured out was, um, it's, it's interesting or not, um, I never paid attention at school. And considering what I said to you earlier on when we were off camera about numbers, mm. um, I did a uh, maths O level. Mm. And the reason I did the maths O level is that I was in something, I, w I was being segregated while they were figuring out what to do with me. So I was literally in a cell in the school most of the time and they decided uh, well, a teacher that would, that for some reason, um, was interested in me, it becomes apparent at a later date why he was and who he was, um, decided to sit on a maths O level for me, and I got 87%. <laughs> so it wasn't, an, it wasn't the fact that I couldn't be educated, it was yeah. the fact that I didn't want to be educated. Right. And I didn't even really know, because sometimes it mm. enthralled me school, and then other times it didn't. Mm. Um, and, it, and, and obviously now, with hindsight, I know why, because mm. what you learn in school is complete rubbish. Sure. A total rubbish. And I would agree with that. Well, I think it's pretty generally known. You know? Yeah. Um, we want you to think that mm. way, and that's that. And I mm. bash anything off like that, anything that I feel mm. is constricting or someone's mm. trying to control me will get a natural response from me, which is, no, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Which can be detrimental to me at times, because mm. it's something I might need to know. The, the picture that you're painting here is of a kid who's smart, who's uncontrollable, who uh, can handle himself in any situation whatsoever, who, uh, and, and who's been watched from a very early age because of certain characteristics that he's not aware that he's got at this stage. And then, as I was saying, sometime between then and now, sometime in those, those years, those 10, 20 years, then things did become clear for you, and you found yourself a niche where you were able to do a job for some pretty important people, and you fitted the template that they were looking for to handle some problems really well. Is, is, is that a good description? Yeah, it is, it is apart mm. from the find myself a niche, I didn't find myself a niche. It was very apparent that that's what I was being grouped for. Right. Can you describe how you were approached? Uh, how it well, was I wasn't you... actually approached. Okay. Well, um, I was in the right place. Uh, I was in that casino. I was in a scene in that casino, betting that kind of money. All right. Um, I was at that cocktail party. Mm. I um, provided things for a party. So you're actually rubbing shoulders with yeah, these guys definitely. without realizing. Um, it. Obviously, there was uh, mm. because uh, I mean the, the word gangster is bandied around about all over the place now and that's you know that's not what I was um, mm. I didn't consider myself a gangster I considered myself someone that does that sort of thing okay just like you know a teacher teaches or mm. you know, soldier soldiers yes. I, you know I did bad things yeah and, and I didn't look any further into it than that yeah and in doing those things mm. in fact the first instance that I was asked to by someone important was to deal with, deal with a paedophile okay so there's some you know there'll be people in your audience who would be uh, would applaud that Okay. Um, it doesn't mean it was just another person, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Um, it, it was um, basically they had a nanny, and the nanny was uh, fiddling with things he shouldn't have been fiddling with, fiddling with and um, they wanted to, you know him dealt with, and, and mm. that, that was the first instance okay. where I was really asked to do anything serious. Um, and a euphemistic way of describing this is that you became very useful in making problems go away. Yes. Is, is that a way to describe yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, but maybe you could go a little, you need to go back, it doesn't even become a problem when I'm involved. Okay. As soon as someone realizes that they may see a situation come in in a month's time, mm -hmm. that's when I'm involved. And the situation never even arises. Like to head the problems off before they become yeah. problems. Yeah. Okay. Because then you can, you, mm. you, yeah. if you, the earlier you deal with a problem, mm -hmm. the less forceful you have to be. And any force or any real major action will attract attention. And you okay. don't want any attention. That's the golden rule. Okay. No attention. Gotcha. 
So if you're scrambling around trying to put out a fire, then it means that you've missed something that you should have done earlier on. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. someone walked in there with matches. Why did you let it? Right. Um, so fast forward a few years to the point where you really began to knowingly rub shoulders with what some of the people watching this would call the elite. The minute you do a favour for one person, mm. and, it, and it was gratis, favour, no Ooh. money changes hands. Right. Um, as soon as you're willing to play that game, You've already. Um, then you start getting referred. You sort of, you, you've entered, yeah. You, you start entered, entered into a, uh, yeah. a contract. The guy says, "You got a problem? I can help you." Yeah. Guy oh, helped me last week. I think he's good. Yeah. And so. And he'll keep his mouth shut. And he'll keep his. And he won't mm. do something stupid like shoot someone. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I learned very early on that the best way to deal with people is financially. Yes. And in the most mundane ways. And you told me. Um, and that. That mm. is part of my character, the way I'm, I'm quite devious like that, mm. um, and, and they love that. Yes. He, about a month or two ago when we were talking, you told me, I think these are the words you said, you said that you skin many cats perfectly legally using totally legal means. I would say 90%, literally 90% mm. of the things I've done are completely legal. Yeah. Yeah. Just because people leave vulnerabilities in their lives. Well, everyone's human, you know, people yeah. take drugs, they like women that they mm. shouldn't like when they're married. Mm. Um, if you have uh, women at your disposal in that who owe you favours, mm. it's very easy to ask them to do that. Mm. And we're talking about people that don't have the moral values. Not that I, and I, I'm, I'm not being detrimental to them in saying that because I don't have those either. In mm. fact, right and wrong as far as I'm concerned don't exist. They don't exist in my world. Mm. It's just a complete fabrication to make everybody feel guilty about what they're doing. There is mm. no right and wrong. Mm. There's just what comes next. Mm. We, we try and look back on it and decide whether it was right or wrong. We don't think like that. Mm. It's as simple I, as that. Yeah. When you say we don't think like that, who's we? Well, that's a big question, isn't it? Um, do you want to talk about um, the end result of who I'm involved with? Or do you want to talk about how I got there? Because you're going to work backwards. It doesn't bother me, but... Well, there are various ways into this. I mean, okay. it's a fascinating story, and there are lots of details that, 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 that I'm hearing here for the first time. Okay. Although, actually, we've talked for hours. Mm. Um, and I've um, been, been more than intrigued by the story that that you have shared with me because it gives an insight into how some things operate that I never had before. This is one of the reasons why I'm very grateful that you're recounting this story for people to hear because it's going to be an eye-opener for a lot of people about the real world and the way that I hear you describing yourself is that you've got your feet planted in the real world, you deal with the real world and that's what you're good at. Yeah. Um Definitely. I'm, I'm in the real world. Where you live, well, not so much you, but <laughs> where everyone else lives, it's just a complete fabrication. Mm -hmm. It really is. And do you know they know? Everyone knows. They just don't want to look at it. Mm. They'd rather face the water and, and not look at what's coming up from behind and just accept it when it hits them. Mm. Most people will keep their eyes on the water. They won't turn around to see what's going to happen. Yeah. It's, you know, ignorance is bliss, is what I'm saying. That's something we can get on to later, which is something that I really want you to talk about. I, I'd love you to cover the intervening years okay. very briefly until we get to the point, and this is just a little trailer of a bit to follow, actually when you first contacted me because I was a problem that needed to be headed That's off. That's right, yeah, you actually became a problem. I became a problem. Yeah. And, and so um, that's how we made contact with each other. And I would like to say that we have become friends since then. Okay. I'm certainly enjoying your company okay. well enough to call you a friend. I haven't played your snooker yet. I don't no. think I'll stand much of a chance. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but um, between that point and the point that you're talking about just now, when you're starting to be recommended to people because you're good at handling things quietly with, with, uh, and efficiently and effectively, um, with a minimum what, amount of fuss. With a minimum amount of fuss. That's the most important thing. Yeah. But none to clean up, nothing to embarrass people, etc., etc. For instance, mm. I, would, I had plenty of people at my disposal mm -hmm. to do things for me, mm -hmm. and yet none of them even knew what I was really involved in, and I would always deal with these situations myself, personally, yes. mm -hmm. without involving anyone else. Yeah. Uh, that's the kind of discretion that's needed. Mm. And you've got to understand at that point, I would, you know... Um, I didn't have to. I could easily have pointed the finger. Mm. But the way they would have dealt with it would have been ridiculous. 
Yes. And that's the very reason that, you know, yes. I, I, I was brought along like I was. Yeah. I understood yes. that the fuss was not needed. Yes, and you became, s sort of in a weird kind of way, you became respected and trusted yes. by them. Yeah, I am you, trustworthy. Yes. If you ask me to do something, I will get it done. You will do it. If I've said I will, it will happen. Right. Uh, if, uh, I may say no, mm. but they will know. But if I've said yes, it will happen. Right. Um, if you want to call that trust, well, fine. I call mm. it my word. Um, some people have asked me to do things for them, mm. and I'm already working on them for someone else. Do they trust me? Am I trustworthy to them? Right. It's all compartmentalized. Right. Isn't everything? Well, isn't everything. Go to mm. work, work mm. on ICI. See yeah. if the guy on uh, the mm. paint counter knows what the managing director's yeah. thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. So, can you cover those intervening years? Uh, I mean, this is like a huge life story. Yeah, this, here, is, but, this is the, the thing, you know, yeah. you've got to understand, mm. if, in some weeks, several things happened. Um, and, and those weeks aren't unusual. Yeah. Um, and the way you view time, I do not view time. For instance, mm. you could ask me a date when mm. something happened or mm. what age I was. I have to really think because mm. it just doesn't bother me. I don't care how old I am. Yeah, yeah. Sure. The, the, you know, the length of time I'm on this planet mm. is the length of time I'm on this planet. I don't care where we are in that at any yeah. point. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So, because I, I don't put those markers, it's very hard for me when someone asks me a direct question from mm. their world to give mm. them an answer that is relevant for them in time, because I don't look at it like that. I understand. Okay. And nor do they. That, and that is interesting. We'll My life is sequential. Everything is sequential. Everything, everything happens in sequence. Yeah, Everything's every, sequenced. Part of the fabrication is the calendar and the clock. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, um, scientists talk about time. Mm. Yeah, well, they talk about time, mm. but time's only been around for how long? Mm. Did, did, did summer still come, winter still come? Yes. Before the clock was invented? Of yes. course it did. Of course. You know, oh, mm. winter's late this year. Mm. I laugh at things like that when I hear things like that. Yeah. Because winter's not late. Just the 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 the, the cage you put it in is it isn't working. Yes. I winter's not late. I completely understand what you're saying. It's like a Buddhist actually saying it is the way that it is. Mm. You know, so well, everything else is just a linguistic. Right. Yeah, this is a Why linguistic. Why do you think I so much? <laughs> right. Okay. So. The intervening time, whether it's elastic or not, between the time when you started getting referred, right. between some some people, and I'm not asking you to name names here, and I understand it would not be appropriate to do so, mm -hmm. but some of the people who you work closely with are names who people would recognize in the public domain. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, it's not my intention here to to dig into that area at all. I'm more interested in the larger picture and your role in it and what you can share to help people understand the world a little bit better. Because you probably agree with me, that people don't understand the world at all, no, right? They don't. They don't and understand. And it's not their it. fault. It's not their fault. Because people have been misguided, misled, every misdirected. Step of the way. Every step of the way. We've been we've been lied to, we've been tricked, we've been deceived, we've been you name it. We've, we've been kind of made fools of for a long time. Absolutely, yeah, mm. yeah, through no fault of your own. Yeah. Um, and mm. I'll be, be prudent to point out that all mm. the individuals that would recognise me from this video have absolutely nothing to worry about. They mm. already know they haven't. Yes. Be because of what I said earlier. Yes. Um, but it would be prudent to point that out. Yes. Because mm. there could be some very nervous people running that's, around making that's, decisions that are just yeah. going to get them in more trouble. Yes, that's absolutely okay. And on record here, as I've told you off record, in making this video with you, it's not my intention to dig into those areas, to cross any lines that I shouldn't cross, to embarrass anybody, or to even be disrespectful, because there's a very subtle and important big picture here, which is really where I want to get to. Absolutely. This part mm. is fairly inconsequential. Yeah. It, you know, it's sure. interesting, maybe, mm. um, but it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you, it's background. It's background. And it may be that by now the people um, watching this are already wondering why it is that, that, that you have got yourself into a place where you're able to point out, if you wanted to and if you could, to people how it is that the way they see the world is wrong, who it is who's really running things, why they're doing it that way, and who it is that you've really been working with through having having become trusted and respected in that world to make problems go away 
to to explain that, you'd have to explain. It's it's a, a very big picture, and you're not going to put that in a paragraph. Okay. Uh, it's 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 very difficult to quantify like that. Um, that it's, that's a yeah. hard question to answer. It's a hard question. You're asking you're asking who they are, why they are, why they've been doing what they are, and how long have I known them? All in one question. I asked too many questions at once. In one go. Okay. So right. Okay. So let's back up a little bit here. Okay. Um, it may be easiest to frame that around our first contact. Okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Why don't we build it around that? Okay. Because um, when we first um, uh, talked to each other, I was asking you the kinds of questions that the people watching or listening to this will be asking right now. Yeah, I understand that. And so, can you say, why did you contact me when you did? Why I, did you do I, con I was told to contact you. Well, you arrived on my desk um, with a half a dozen other things mm. at that point. Uh, I didn't realise your relevance until I started to... Um, uh, well, perhaps... I didn't realise your relevance um, until, we, until we started actually um, conversing. Um, but then I've got to rewind a little bit because I am also part of the problem and I was fooled as much as anybody else until I did something mm. that has left me slightly debilitated, as you well know. Yes. Are you able to talk about that yeah, as well? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I don't mind about talking about how I've got and that sort of thing. That doesn't bother me. Okay. Um, I hooked myself up to something with the aid of someone else um, to educate myself about certain things that would be very advantageous, not even just financially, just generally advantageous to me. And the deal was done between that individual and me because he could have got himself in a lot of trouble for doing what we did mm. and I could have. So we set up something and it took over a year to set up for me to get me in the right place at the right time um, and the machine in the right uh, frame of mind. And you use those interesting words. Um, mm. Because, and him. Yes. Um, so it, took a, it was a long time in the set, but it was a very cheap reason we did it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and it didn't go well. Mm. And it's left me terminally ill, mm -hmm. and and also left me um, uh, w with problems in my daily life, mm -hmm. you know, to deal with others, uh, mm -hmm. which we're experiencing right now. Uh, mm. So when I did that, um, it changed my outlook in a way I didn't understand. I, that wasn't what I was setting. I wasn't setting out to be sitting here. Mm. It was a dastardly deed, mm. not a heroic one. Let's get yes. that very clear. I'm right. not a hero. I'm far from it. Mm. Um, it was for, for financial and political gain. I mm. did what I did, mm. and it backfired. And as a spin-off, it kind of deprogrammed you. Absolutely, that's what it done without yeah. doubt. Yeah, um, mm. or overprogrammed me. Okay. Uh, which you know, mm. um, I found myself being able to do things that I just couldn't possibly have any. I've got no background in those that thing. Mm. Never been showed how to do it, and mm -hmm. and was was doing it and putting a professional to shame. Okay. And not ever a pick. For instance, I've never played golf. It's actually been quite hard for me in business because I don't like golf. Right. Right. Um, and someone um, persuaded me um, to take a round of golf mm -hmm. with them. A very well-known golf course, a very hard golf course. And he played on that golf course most of his life, three or four days a week. And I slaughtered him. And I'd that, never played golf before in my life. That's amazing. So, yeah. well, you know, it's just you, you could say, oh, you know, beginner's luck. That's that's what was because obviously I didn't do it again mm. because of the amount of attention that was drawn. And mm. that I don't like no fuss. Mm. So that was frowned on mm. doing that. Mm. And how could I do that? Mm. And it was frowned on by the other person that I I did the deed with. Yeah. Because that's going to draw attention. It was quite out of character as well. Yes. But I didn't realise I was going to be able to do it. Yes. And I, and I don't really remember very much about the game either. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening. Mm -hmm. um, I've found myself being able to do things. And I've found myself not, I found myself not being able to do things that I used to be able to do very, very well. Yes. So it's almost like, this is very rough, it's almost like downloading a program. And you didn't know what the program could do until it started running. Is, is that close? Yeah. Uh, do you want to say that again your own way? Yeah. Um, there wasn't any download as such, there was an interaction 
That was meant as a metaphor. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, but, but you know, I understand why you've said that, and I mm. understand why you use that metaphor. And mm. you, you'd look at you look at it like that because of the products that are available, um, you know, in mm. any, any electronic store anywhere. Mm. Um, but that's not what that machine does. Okay. That machine interacts with you. Okay. Um, and you share things. Right. Um, and some things are taken from you, and some mm. things are given to you. So mm. it's not a download, is it? It's a, it's a game of tennis. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and that leaves you affected afterwards. Like it's a two-way communication Absolutely, thing that's yeah. going on on a very deep level. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm not completely um, convinced that that link's still not there. It, it might, it, you know, um, hmm. for want of a better way of putting it, Bluetooth. That's interesting. I um, gotcha. and, yeah. and that's something that we haven't discussed before. Like I an understand that. But, um, and I'm not actually 100% sure that what I'm saying there is, is right. Yeah. Um, so... Just to clarify what you're saying there, you're saying there might be like an ongoing remote connection which you're not always yeah. fully aware of. Yeah, a mental yeah. connection um, that maybe mm -hmm. isn't even deliberate on either part. Okay. Uh, just as by a residual effect. I gotcha. Um, so yeah, that, that, so that golf's an example. There's been others. Um, hmm. Okay, so, so the reason why we were talking so, about... So the reason we're talking about it is because how you... About that. Right, so then you, you, you are um, brought to my attention. There's a setup, and at that point I'm just a name yeah, on your... Yeah, you just another name. Just another, another name. Just some character in a funny out that I've got to go and deal with, you know, and I've done some research. Well, the research is done for me. Um, mm -hmm. And then I looked into it, and yeah, fine. Just, you know, and to, and to be honest, I saw you as a very easy person to deal with because right. you're not military. Mm -hmm. You've got no um, criminal elements to you. Um, you what you see is what you get mm. so I, I thought you know and you're a stand-up guy and stand-up guys are the easiest ones to deal with because they've got morals okay you can hang someone on their morals just yeah. like that okay um, they will do the right thing you know I, I told you a story about if you want to get to someone you just have a cab pull up with a woman with a car right? yes. and the good guy will go straight over and, yeah. and you're in yeah. it's easy but if mm. you're trying to deal with someone that isn't moralistic you just mm. stand there and that, that won't work mm. yeah what you're saying is that the, the stand-up guy, as you call them, is just very predictable. Yeah. And yeah. if you've got an opponent or a target who's very predictable, then it's dead easy yeah, to do Yeah, if you're playing a game of chess and you know every move that person's going to make, it's not going to be much of a game, is it? Yeah, right. Okay. So you thought it was going to be a pushover and you thought it was just going to... Or, or, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, no, I thought it was yeah. going to be a pushover. Was, yeah, okay. No problem. I didn't think you'd take up more than a couple of days of my time. Okay. So um, here we are six months later. There you go. So... <laughs> What's happened at that point that caused... Well, that education, okay. shall we say, that interaction, mm. Mm. Um, basically, uh, it, w it was the golf situation again. Um, mm. I didn't approach it as I usually approach it. Mm -hmm. I was more thoughtful about it, which was mm -hmm. unusual. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm always thoughtful about things because you've got to be careful. But I seem to be more worried about the individual mm -hmm than what I had, the task at hand, which yes. is very unusual. And that's the first thing that pricked my ears to mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. So I dragged my heels on that and um, conversed with you. And it put me in quite hot water. And just for the record, this was in August of this year, 2010. Yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. So we conversed and mm -hmm. I was asked why I was entering into a dialogue with you and not just getting on with it. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, you're, you, you're not the nut we thought you were and I'm not going to be able to crack you the way I thought I was going to and this is the way I'm going to do it which was accepted because it's, it's happened before and that was an explanation and I actually said that um, I'm going to bring you into my confidence uh, disinfo you and make your credibility zero that's how um, that's what I was going to do and so Communication with you was then was then smiled upon. Mm. It's just you know he is doing his job. That's no problem. Um, the the thing was in talking to you, you changed my mind, and no one does that. Mm. And that's a re that's where I say that machine changed me. Mm -hmm. To enable that to be possible, to you mean the machine to even listen to you? Yeah, because mm. you don't know what's going on. So why would I listen to you? Mm. Mm. But it turned out you do, mm. or you had an inclination. I'm sure there's many people like that. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Then, uh, as I dragged my heels, uh, eyebrows were raised because it's still, you know, it, we'll move on a month. Yeah. Why is it still not dealt with? And what's more, some things he's doing are even more annoying. Mm. 
Mm. Um, so it was pretty. Re it was realised that perhaps I wasn't um, going to do what I was meant to do, mm. and you were given to other people, mm. um, and those other people. Um, well, see, they they had tried to deal with you before me. Uh, others have tried to. They had tried to. Yeah, and you had difficulties that you, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And Are it didn't you... work, so that's why I was. Because really, yes. it was a bit of a sledgehammer to crack a walnut to get yes. me out of mothballs. You've got to understand. Yes. On a phys to, to go and deal with something, me actually at this point, it might be prudent to say that I didn't do that anymore. It was a little bit of a sledgehammer to crack a walnut. Right. Um, which is another mm. reason that you made you more. Um, of a spectacle for me to look yes. at. Yes. Are you able to say on record here that what you're referring to is that other people were deployed to interfere with the work that Kerry Cassidy and I were doing in Project Camelot? Are you able to say that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And you're saying that that... And to interfere with your relationship, as uh, divide and yes. conquer. Yes. Okay. So without going into those embarrassing details for individuals concerned, mm -hmm. let's just say that 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 happened, but then all that happened then was the amoeba split, mm -hmm. and and you could sort of and say... we had two problems. Then he had two problems, yeah. because then he exactly had Kerry doing her thing and me doing my thing. Yeah, so that's when I right. was brought in, because the, okay. the, it obviously wasn't working, right. and that wasn't the way to deal with it. Okay. Um, and then, as I said, you know, um, your file dropped on my desk, and I started mm -hmm. to do what happened, and then in our discourse, I realised that um, there was more to you than met the eye. I dragged my heels, mm. wondered why you were such a issue. And the more I dragged my heels, the more uptight people that don't get uptight got. Mm -hmm. And that was that set some alarm bells off for me as well. And, then I, and I, whenever you see something like that, it's, kind, it's always a good idea to find out why, because financially and business-wise, there might be an advantage in there. Mm. So I felt it prudent, because I'm always after the next man's chair, mm. and right. that man knows that. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, you know, I'll, I'll look into this, and that's why I dragged my heels. And then I realised it was getting more intense, and they actually showed themselves up. Mm -hmm. um, and it got to a point where I, ha I had to be told what and why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it came apparent there's much more to this than met the eye. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what about that? Can you say here? Um, what genetics? It, it, try it, yeah. I try. Um, this is this is now entering another huge area of this playing field, right? Yeah, uh, this is the yeah. problem you're going to have. Do you remember we, when we first spoke? Um, when we, you know, when mm. we decided that um, mm. as we said that, that we're going to go off in different fields, and you can mm. spend six hours on each one. Absolutely. Um, and I'm not even an educated man, so I'm going to be. It's going to be hard for me to. Mm. So that makes the problem, mm. you know, the process even longer, doesn't it? Mm. Um, but yeah, if we if so genetically. Um, there are lines of people, mm. and those people have been around that genetic line, not family, not family name, although mm. that does often go mm. in hand in hand. Um, those genetic lines of people have known things for many, many years, thousands of years, mm. um, the, and it's put them in a prominent position. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. 98% of the money with 2% of the people. Is it really that hard to understand? Yeah. That if you've got the money, you're not going to let it go? Yeah. And if you've got the money, people are going to come to you with their mm. ideas? So we you get the jump on everybody else, and yes. if you decide not to publish that idea, mm. and that idea is handy for your business. Yeah. It's, I mean, is it really that far-fetched? I mean, is it that hard mm. for people to understand that if you've got an advantage at every mm. step of the way, that you're mm. going to end up in charge? Yeah. Um, what we're talking about, just for other people's benefit, is what other writers and presenters are talking about bloodlines. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay You're yeah. talking about bloodlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, there are hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of bloodlines, but most of them don't matter. Mm -hmm. There's probably about four hundred and there's four hundred and twenty seven that are probably relevant mm -hmm. um, and they're controlled by thirty three. 33 bloodlines. Yeah. And the 33 bloodlines, would it be correct to say that they're on the, on the inside? They are the inside. They are the inside. Yeah. They determine what's inside and what's outside. Yeah. Okay. And they know what's going on, they know the whole story. Yes. And the, and the others 
And that's where the story gets crazy. And that's when and I'm not really part of that. I and I don't actually, I'm not actually in with that. You know me as a, as a person and you yes. know that I'm very down to earth. Yeah. And I'm not a flower child in any way. Mm. And to me, it's a complete load of nonsense. But it's their religion. Yes. And it didn't matter to me because it makes me money. Yes. Yes. That's the, the early stage. Of course, I realise as an, I'm an older man and mm. um, that I haven't actually got an awful lot of time left, mm. that maybe I'm going to kick them in the nuts. The yes. Yes. Right. Um, why is it that in using your words that you want to kick them in the nuts and you're using this opportunity to do it in a way, in, in, in a way? Is it, for, is it okay to say that on record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is it? Why would you want to do that? Because I can. Okay. I really can't give you a better answer than that. Okay. You know my character now. Mm. Mm. It's, it's what I do, isn't it? It's, what, it's why I'm... It's, it's the ability I've got. Yes. It's the unpredictable ability that I've got. Yeah. So you can't turn it off, can you? I've got myself in trouble before with it, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not a case of... Mm -hmm. You know, someone's not mentally ill, if they can suddenly behave themselves when the police turn up. Right. Catch-22. Yeah, yeah, they're not mentally ill, because yeah. they've behaved themselves. Yeah. If they carry on going completely crazy mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. attack the police, then it's a fair assumption that they are actually quite ill. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you see what I mean. I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. So I can't turn it off. I really yes. am mm -hmm. what I am. That is actually letting it run out. That interference was part of it. Yes. You know, that is, the, that is the argument that is always going on. Yes. And it's, it's, a, it's a chicken and egg, isn't it? You know, is he interfering or is he meant to interfere? Is it, yes, it's like, is the interference actually part, part of the of, natural exactly process? part of the natural process, yes. 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 Yeah. If the lion jumps on the deer, is that interference? Yeah, exactly. Actually, it's just the lion doing etc. Yeah, that's et right. Yeah. Yeah. Was it cruel? It's not. No, yeah, it's, yeah. I and you can, you can put that into, uh, in the world as well, you know, the, the politics, the, the, the energy crisis, etc. Mm. Mm. you know. Um, they're letting it play out. With, a, with some tweaking and steering? Maybe, is, is that an understatement? Well, this is or, what we're saying. Is yeah. tweaking and steering. Is, is the it? human race mm. um, interference for the planet? Right. Or was it meant to happen? Yes. All right, so we make a big mess of it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, a couple of million years go by. Mm. Does it matter? Of course okay. not. Okay. Yeah. If, if the mm. planet's black... Mm. What what form of life comes next? Yep. Was it meant to? Okay. So you know where you know. So I don't get involved in that. And, uh, and as I said, my feet are on the ground. I don't care about all that. Mm. Um, that's their argument. You've asked me to explain it. Okay. I've done it as best as I can, but I'm not really interested in it. I think that's. I think that's very clear. I think it, it's in, it's amazingly interesting, and and of course, here. I can say that I'm... I find I'm, it excruciatingly boring. There you <laughs> go. But then I didn't like, I didn't like history. So well, right, yes. Uh, it's off record is what you've always... I mean, in the past when we've spoken off record, you've always referred to it as a history lesson and mm. you're always interested in the here and now. You're not interested in the, all the tradition and the history and yeah. the background and yeah. the context for all never of this. Never been part so, of it. Never been part of it, as I understand. But it, it, but it has been an interesting few months for us both, in a way, yeah. in a way here. Things because, are always, fa always fairly interesting for me anyway. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's been a little bit more interesting. Yes, in, in the sense of the Chinese curse, may you, may you live in interesting time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some things have been a bit too interesting. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so just before we get off into, in, into lots of different Yeah, you've got to decide which way you want to go here. now. Yes, I do. I just want to make sure that um, I guess to your satisfaction and mine, that we're kind of squared off with how it is that we got to this point today, mm -hmm. nearly at the end of at, at the end of 2010. Mm -hmm. I'm still standing. Mm -hmm. So are you. Yeah. We're having this conversation now, and this is this is, in my view, this is pretty huge because I don't believe anything of this information has ever been released on the public record of course, before. No, not Absolutely at all. Not, no. And you're taking this sort of. On your shoulders to do this, although you you would say, wait a minute, in my shoulders, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but and I also know that there are protocols involved here, which we've talked about, which are fascinating. Which is that you are not allowed 
to tell me what to do or to give me advice well, well, because that's interfering with me playing yeah, I mean, what would be the point of doing that? Yeah, right. Because that's interfering again. Yeah, I find yeah. it's me doing it then, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just right. up to a dastardly deed as usual. Yeah, right. So you... And there, is, there, hmm. there doesn't yeah. need to be any dastardly action in this. This is something that needs to be, Oh, I was going to say, pure. Well, in my view, and we've had this conversation... Um, Which makes me the totally off, wrong person well. to do what I've done. Well, I, I think it's a wonderful irony here. Yeah. Um, at an early stage, you did tell me that it had always been expected that you would do something but like I, this. And, and you're a, a plain... very high up individual has, has intimated that to me, okay. that I'm only doing what I would have, would have done. Yes. Those, that was the phrase yes. that was used. In other words, um, putting my own words on this, you are actually a purist showing his true colours at last, even though you were given the direction by the other camp. Okay, it, yeah, it, okay. It, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Because... Well, you're explaining it to me. It, it, more succinctly than I could explain it to you. Well, so, so yeah. it's good because it means that you've got what I'm saying. I believe I've got. You know, you have, you have definitely, yeah, and that's good because it, it, it draws a line under it for me. I can start diminishing my involvement now. Yeah, right. Um, and 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 just to to to, to sort of help to wrap that up, you are actually allowing this to play out in a way that is interesting to everybody because actually nobody really knows what's going to happen next no nobody knows what's going to no, happen no next, one does except that it's a fairer fight than a fairer contest than it was before i don't want to use the word fight because i'm not into fighting it's not it's not a fight it's, it's not, not a fight, a fight. It's, mm. you know um a, a river running down hill uh is rapid at one point and very calm and slowly that's not a fight is it yes it's just what happens it's sort of energy Sometimes finding a resolution and, yeah and, and fast Mm. But sometimes it moves along slowly. Yes. Um, you know, it, it, when it's moving fast, is that a fight? No, it's just a different momentum. Yeah. So no, there's not a fight. Yeah. It's it's situations finding a natural resolution yeah. of some kind. Th yeah, that's a much yeah. better way of putting it. Yeah. And so, what you want to see? This is what I. This is, this is a question. What you want to see, and what's motivating you, is you want to see things find a good natural resolution. And actually there are several times when you've told me off, off record, or, or off camera, that you don't think I stand a chance. No, I still don't. But you're still willing to give me my musket oh, or my yeah, lance yeah. or whatever like that of so course. that I can do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and then, you know, um, may the best man win and all the rest of it, but you reckon I'm probably outgunned. I, uh, I know you are. Metaphorically speaking, yeah, I'm yeah. outgunned. Yeah. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, that is, it, mm. And you say that I would be interested. Um, I'm not going to be around. So you've yes. got to temper that with a little... Yes. You know, how, how interested could I really be? When you say not going to be around, this is reminding people watching this, this is because you're terminally ill. That's right, yeah. Right. Do you know how long you've got? Two years. Two, something like that. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly Maybe, these things have yeah. been going. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, mm. um, people have said to me, you, you know, you're quite resilient, so you could say maybe three, maybe four. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you know, that, that's where it mm. where it goes for me. And it also might be a point to me that I, I, you know, I've no, obviously because I got my back to the camera, it's pretty obvious that I've got no, there is no stardom value in this for me. Far from it. I want yes. nothing to do with that. And this is probably going to be one of the only videos you're ever going to have of me. Oh well, well. Well, you know, we'll see what goes, but. Given that the future is unpredictable. The only reason there'll be another one is because something wasn't clarified. Okay. Not right. because I want to do another one. I understand that. That's yes. your job. Yes, yes. I understand that. Okay. Do you think you will get into trouble for doing this video? For making this video with me? I would have yesterday. But not today. Not today. Because okay. you've decided to do it. Because I decided to do it. What's... And I say this half in jest, but only half in... What's the difference between that and passing the buck? Very little. <laughs> <laughs> Very little. Okay. Delegation, I prefer. Okay. But you're kind of saying that, that in this natural process you've been describing, mm. if I'm taking the risk on my own shoulders, taking responsibility for it, then that's part of this fair contest, yeah. which you want to encourage. Yeah. And... 
And there are going to be individuals, yeah. that, the mm -hmm. original individuals that set me to you, mm -hmm. that are going to make it unfair for you again. If they, you, you can obviously understand that if they've done that once, they will do that again. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, and while I'm still around, mm -hmm. you won't have any problems. Right. That's going to be the level of my involvement. From now okay. On. That's it. Okay. Are you giving me your word on that? Yeah. yeah that's good. It's, I'm looking at this guy in the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's very cool. Um, and I didn't mean that in a flippant way, by no, the way. No. Yeah, but I do appreciate that. Um, and this is something that you have warned me about many times, mm. actually. And this is something that I appreciate because... Um, well, it's getting it, quite sticky at the moment, isn't it? it Things are getting yeah. I mean, things are getting interesting. Let's say the stakes are getting. I mean, well, the chips are piling up on the, the table. Street, the man in the street is mm. uneasy. He doesn't yeah, yeah. know why he's uneasy. He knows there's a yes. monster coming, but doesn't even know what it is. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, cue the monster. What is this monster we're talking about here? Um, Your words, not mine. Okay. Let's look at the the as you use as, as you. I'm going to use for your term bloodline. Right. Let's say uh, the 33 bloodlines of the monster. That's not a word that I would, that I'm not, I'm not wanting to use th that, that okay. terminology. Oh, sorry, you're, you're talking about the monster in regards to what's going to happen. Yes, okay. that's what I thought what you the, meant. The, right, okay. I'm not talking about anybody as being monstrous. That's, uh, that's, right, not, okay. My, okay. that's not what I'm doing. Mm. Um, so... so, so Help me out here. Yeah. What, um, what you were what saying you was, say, what you were asking me. Okay. What you were saying was the man in the street is 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 getting uneasy because yeah. they sense that there's a monster coming. Yeah. Those are, those were that, your yeah, words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And by monster I mean maybe I've I've used the wrong mm. word actually. By monster I mean um, the situation is changing. And when anyone's situation changes, it makes them uneasy, doesn't it? Yes. It, financially, for instance. Yes. You know, you've got 10 grand in your bank account on Monday. Yeah. Someone commits fraud on you on Wednesday. And on Friday, someone is put, making an injunction on your house. Yes. You know, you, you're not as happy as you were on Monday. You're right. right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that, that's what's coming, that kind of thing. Yes. So financial instability? Well, the Some financial, people... I mean, we're not telling anyone anything they don't already know. We're already, you know, there's already been financial tinkering perhaps, all, perhaps let me put this you know yes we're on a globe yes right yeah and we've got an atmosphere right yeah and money can't fly right right so where's it where's gone? it all gone right someone's yes. got it back yeah you, you can't have everyone in the world going bankrupt if you are yeah. yeah exactly if everyone yeah. else in the world went bankrupt well who who decided that and well, who's got that money where does it where is it gets yes. after that it's like having a kachi like having like having a casino with no chips exactly. it's like, wait a minute who's got the chips yeah so someone's got who the won them all yeah and they're at his house yes or actually, they're in the bank. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, sure. Okay. And so, that's so, it, very roughly it's far more complicated than that. But if you basically pull the mm. finger out of the dike, that's what they've done. And that's how they control finances. There isn't a, 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 a someone at the stock exchange who makes a phone call. And there is no plan. Mm. It is, the, these individuals are so powerful. Mm. And I, I mean powerful, not rich. They're mm. so powerful because of their wealth. Mm. That when they remove that wealth from any area, that area collapses. Right. And if you want mm. to put, and, and the world is, a, is an area. Mm. Yeah. But then we go on the subject of money. Money is a control system. It's nothing to do with money. It's not, money is, is, is nothing. It's, it's, it's no more important than pigeons. It's, just, it's, yes. it's, it's, a, it's something that, mm. it's, a, it's a machine. Yes. For picking people out. Yes. I understand that, and I think a lot of people watching this will be aware yeah. of this. The more paper you get together, and by that I mean money. Yes. Um, to do that, you have to be a type of individual. Do you want to go this way? Uh, okay. Go on. Go on. To do that, you have to be. If you're um, depending on what field you're in, you know. Mm. Um, let's say you're particularly good at acting, and you haven't been discovered, mm. and you land a plum roll and you are paid two million pounds to do it. And then you go and invest that two million pounds rather than go and buy yourself a house and mm. live the life. Mm. You go and invest that in a business. Mm. And that nets you 14 million pounds. Yeah. And then you invest that. And then yeah. you get another role. Yeah. Um, this will be noticed. And as yeah. your accumulation gets to a point, um, you will be approached. 
Yes. And the reason you'll be approached is because to get that kind of money together, everyone in the street will tell you you're not a nice guy. You don't okay. get that way mm. by being a nice guy. Mm. You can get inherited money and be mm. a nice guy and you won't have it very long. Or you could be very, very smart. You don't have to play dirty to get money. Do you? Uh, do yes, you? you do. You do? Yeah, I think you do, yeah. Okay. And uh, that's a personal opinion. And it's okay. also, and that is a fact. It's my personal opinion, but mm. it's also a fact. If you want to hang on to your money, uh, you're going to have to develop a thicker skin. And in developing mm. that thicker skin, you will understand what they are going to explain to you. Okay. It will make you susceptible. You mm. have to. Okay. Or just give your money away. Okay. Which I've is never to. going to happen. Because why would you try to accumulate it in the first place? Yes, right. You, you could put a word on it and say greed, but it's far more complex than that. Okay. Insecurity. People, look at me, I came mm. from a very weak background mm. and I can assure you that getting money together was, was a way of uh, increasing my security. Yes. So that wasn't greed. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, so I, it's, it's a system. Um, and you can look at uh, actors, athletes, businessmen, um, any walk of life. Mm. The, they are judged on what? Well, certainly one of the things people are judged All on. Right, you, this is their particular talent. Yeah. Let's put yeah. that to one side. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Their particular mm. talent. Yeah, okay, right. Is obviously, you know, that, that's how they get the, 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 their fame. Right. Okay, yeah, so yep. let's put that to one side. Yeah. The very next, well, any, mm. uh, anyone that matters, let's put it that way, anyone that mm. matters to that individual will judge them on how much money they're making. Yes. And that's mm. literally, you know, if you're today's cheese, you're great, I'll talk to you. Yeah. If you're three day old, I don't want to know. Yeah. Because you've run out of money. I understand that. Money goes to money. You heard that saying before? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is one way in which, as we said just five minutes ago, this is what the man in the street, the person in the street is becoming... Uh, uh, um, concerned about because there are financial games being played of all kinds and they're taking the chips back off the table and so on. So people are saying, hey, where are all the chips have gone, etc. What else is happening? That's, that's sort of old news. Yeah, as, exactly. as yeah, you said, that's sort of old everyone news. Knows. Yeah. And that's something that's been happening for a little while now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so what's coming at us? What changes might we see in the world, on the planet, in the next few years? A lot of people really want to know that. Can you tell us anything about that? Either what you think, what you've heard, or what you know. Well, the first thing to say about that, and it's really important, is this, there is no, you know, 2012, it's still rubbish, complete right. rubbish, all of it. Um, and I don't mean that to upset people. I know they understand and believe what they believe, and I know they've got what they call evidence, but they're basing their evidence on an education that was complete nonsense in the first place. Yes, and there's been a lot of disinformation of course, that's yeah. been injected into the alternative community to provide people a, a, a way of chasing their tails forever and not looking at the real issues. And then you've got Is the media, right? car crash is far more interesting than the motorway with everything happening fine. Okay, right. Like, you know, you, yeah, yeah. You, yes. see, you see what I mean by that? You know, uh, if there's an I opponent, am, the whole thing's mm. easy, much more interesting, and it keeps you looking that way. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, they're very happy for you, for uh, if I can say people like you, mm. and I don't mean it in that way, but you know mm. what I mean. Uh, the alternative media. Yes. Uh, they're very happy for you to do what you're doing. To be talking up the esoteric significance yeah, yeah, of 2012. Yeah. The, the crazier the story, the the the, the more rolls of laughter are heard. Okay. And they have been watched. Yes. Right. Over cigars and whiskey. I've seen them roll with laughter over things. Because sometimes mm. you get things right. Mm hmm. What do you mean, like a lucky hit? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. In fact, in the public mm. domain, quite mm. often, really, if you could piece it all together, it's all there. Y and yes. uh, individuals have got it right, right on the money mm. in the total wrong context. Okay. So that is very funny. Yes. From this point of view. Okay. So. What you're kind of describing is that all of this, to some degree, is being regarded as, is sometimes it's regarded as entertainment. Ah, it's just like, yeah, so yeah. look at what you this... You guys are regarded as entertainment. Yeah. yeah, that's a very fair comment. Yeah. yeah. Look at what this Twitter Because I don't consider you a threat. Right. Well, not you, I say you, the alternative media. Yes. Not you. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, what you don't want is anyone being taken seriously. What you don't want is someone who's going to coherently put an argument together, is willing to listen to the discourse mm. and come back with a different version, mm. adapted, 
because that's dialogue and that's that's productive mm. they don't want that okay they want uh, a guy with his hair tied up in ponytails with a white line painted across his face doing an indian rain dance and then trying to tell you something about what's going to happen in 2012 they okay want that. yes and because the spirits are telling him yeah something. yeah yeah he's got tinfoil and he said great guy we like him okay all right all right so anyone who who well, there's something about Tim Fall that we were talking about which with, is quite pre relevant isn't there but we, that's another question that's another situation altogether do you want remember to deal what with talking about? I do remember that do you want to talk about the Tim Fall no thing? because that's that mm. to be honest that that's part of the joke and that's not what you want to do here no okay all right no that's true so what you're saying there uh, and all of this was in the context of what's coming down the pike at us over the next few yeah. years. And then you started off, which I did appreciate, saying, well, actually, first of all, let's get the nonsense out of the way. Mm. And you're saying that in the alternative media, there's a lot of nonsense. And from the inside, the whole thing is seen as a bit of a comedy show most of the time. Yeah. It's like, look and the, how... And the times it isn't taken as comedy show is when they actually take your ideas on. Because so every now and then, some crackpot will come up with an idea that actually flies. Okay. And it will be used. And that crackpot will find his life easier. Hmm. He will get funding. Can you give us an example of that? Uh, you put me on the spot there. Um, it, no, it's fine. That's all right. No, I can't. Not, not right now. Let me okay. think while we're talking. And, uh, maybe, okay. Or maybe you'll come across something where it will become apparent to me that it is an example. Okay. Okay. That's cool. But I, I get the concept. I was just immediately mm. curious because mm. we hadn't, he hadn't, hadn't mentioned that to me before. Oh. Okay. So um, what you're describing is that the alternative media is a bit of a circus, it's a bit of a comedy show, there are all kinds of characters who have got their, 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 some fixed idea about something that's very crazy, and that suits the 33 very well, because they, they are very happy to see people running as hard as they can in the wrong direction. Yeah. And taking yeah. as many people with them as possible. Yeah. Because it takes away a potential source of problem which is what would be people actually really waking up and looking at the right thing yeah okay yeah yeah disinformation yeah yeah it's very useful the yes. most useful thing yes i would say much a, better than a pun uh, right on a well it's yes because it's, if you threaten these guys they actually mm, get worse yes yes you know okay. give them validity yes yes right so so, so um, you said you weren't you weren't very good with numbers, which I, no, I, I, I actually don't really believe that. But <laughs> but 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 but, but um, on a on a percentage scale in the alternative media, how much how much nonsense is there? I've already told you that once, and you already know. I would say at least seventy percent. Yeah, at least. least. Yeah. that's that's fair. Mm, yeah. My personal opinion is 90%, okay. but that's a bit unfair, okay. because I don't get on with those people very well at all, which okay. is why you're another surprise. Right. You're another surprise because we get along well with you. Yeah, so yeah. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Usually yeah. I couldn't tolerate someone like you, because I would get angry and just say, mm. you're talking rubbish and get out of my sight, because I'm going to hurt you. Okay. <laughs> That's a, actually that's very funny. It's like <laughs> get out of my sight, and I'm taking care of you here because otherwise, you know, you'd be smart to walk out of that door now. This is yeah, okay, it's a joke. Um, so I know sometimes it hasn't been a joke either. No, so it's, no. it's a very fine line. We've thought, we've talked, we've about, talked this about this as well. Before, yeah, yeah. Like between humour and and deadly seriousness. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Um, those of those of you who know me quite well know that I make a lot of jokes in seriousness. Okay, so. If we're talking about the 70% that's nonsense, let's, let's say it's 70. What's the 30% that's real? Oh, that's a good question. And, and, it, and it's quite a large, again, you've done it, it's quite a large question. Um, mm. Perhaps you, I mean, I could put that, back that straight back at you and say, what do you think the 30% is real? You know, you, you, and it's, mm. it'd be just as difficult for you to answer. Well, uh, I could... I think people get an idea of who's telling the mm. truth and who isn't. Mm. Um, all right, you, you can tell me straight. Oh, body language. Everyone will go for body language. Let me tell you something about body language. Go I on. use it all the time. Mm -hmm. And if someone... If you are aware... It's very easy for me because of my accent and what pe people make a... Con uh, and very often make a judgment about me. And that's very handy. Very handy. Okay, it suits you down to the ground. Definitely. Yeah. Uneducated thuggish, mm. um, brutal, 
And they think that you're an intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they, you know, they consider me mm. dangerous, maybe, mm -hmm. or they watch their step, maybe, mm. but they wouldn't expect me to know things about body language and things like that. Now, they're in a very dangerous position there because I mm. do. Mm. And body language is something you can use against someone because mm. if you know and can control yourself, mm. which can mm. be done, mm. you can give them a false flag. Yes. They'll think that you're telling the truth and you're not because you yes. know that you can control yourself. Yes. So they are their own worst yeah. enemies. A little bit of education, yeah. it's very dangerous. Don't they can think that you're being submissive and you're not. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. They can think mm. that I'm telling the truth. You know, everyone knows mm. that, you know, it's getting quite in the public domain now, but body language and, and the psycho, the psychology behind it and all the rest of it, mm. you know, if mm. your eyes do this or they do that, mm. it, you know, well, mm. yeah, okay. Um, mm. If the guy doesn't know or the girl doesn't know mm. anything about it, and you're educated and you're there for a reason mm. and you're trying and, you, and you're looking for those things and they're unaware of it well then yeah of course you'll get a, you'll mm. get a good representation of what that person's thinking and saying mm. but if the individual is playing you and has uh, a good education in that they will use it against you and you won't even be aware of it yes yeah yes and and you're now wondering if i'm doing it to you I've been watching you for the last four or five months. You're a very good psychologist. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> Not an academic one, but you never were academically qualified at any of the things which no. you're good at. It's been very interesting watching you do your job very professionally and effectively. But well, what I would say mm. is I haven't. Mm. Well, not by your previous standards. No. Not by your previous standards. No. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I do, I do do it, but for the right reasons. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're getting somewhere where mm. uh, you said it last night, the hot and cold game. Yes. That's what I do. Yes. That's what I do. So I'm doing mm. it in in that respect. Yes. Like you're what you're talking. Yeah. What you're talking about is guiding and steering. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Saying yes, yes, you're on the mark. Yeah, no, not you're on the mark. Defending now. myself. Yeah. Uh, trying to get out. You know, um, you're not the judge. Sure. So I don't need to be. I think that, you know, I don't need to be mm. the, uh, in the dock. Yeah, okay. Now, we got onto that because we were talking about um, what people thought about you. We were talking about disinformation. We were talking about what people, I think we were, what people thought about you and people would often read you wrong and that you were talking about body language and so on and so forth. Mm. The tracks that we were on just before that, I, I was talking about... What in the 30% that yeah. wasn't the 70% yeah. maybe is on the money or close to it? What do we need to worry about? There are a lot of people watching this right now who really want to know what they, what they should be aware of, what they should be looking at, what they should be preparing okay, for. Let's, let's allay some fears. Some yeah. serious nonsense. Very good. Let's no go. nuclear war. Good. Forget it. It's not happening. Never will happen. Would have happened by now. Surely you can see that. Okay. Yeah, 1983, we came that close. 1983? Yeah. Okay. Or was it 85? 85. I don't know. Okay. We came that close. Documented. Have a look into it. I'm, you know, I can't remember what it was all about. But basically, America and Russia came with, within in inches in a, mis in a mistake. And, and that kind of, you know... Um, it's not the Cuban Missile Crisis. We're yeah, yeah. It, it, we're talking about that uh, well, no, I mean, no, late, no, later on, no. Later on in the yeah, 80s, Later huh? on, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not a historian, Bill, so I don't know. I'm just using an example. There was something. We have come close a few times. You I just believe. mentioned another one, so, you know. I believe it. Okay. Um, and it didn't happen. So if it was going to, that was when it was going to. So that's mm. all rubbish. And besides, if you do that, you ruin everything. Yeah. It's, it's and purely pure nonsense. And it takes people out and it's not selective, exactly. is it? It's yeah, not selective. Exactly. Yeah, you damage what, you know, do you want that country after that? Yeah. Look how long you're going to have to wait. And let's face it, look what happened to England. You know, they ended up paying for the Second World War and putting everything right, and they're mm. now in a weaker position than Germany is. Okay. So the same... And Japan, the same thing with Japan, with yeah. America. So you are saying... The winner loses. Yes. Financially. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just from, just from the finance... People mm. understand finances, and they know that everyone at the mm. top is greedy. This is mm. no, you know, this is stuff we know. Mm. So just by that same token, there is going to be no conflict of that, of that description because it's detrimental to everybody. Okay. So that's, there's no, you don't have to go, you know, I feel sorry for all the guys that have gone and liquidated all their assets and run to the hills. You're mm. idiots. Mm. There was no need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you've wasted your time. Uh, 
in, 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 if you did it because of that, Yes. You've wasted your time. Well, let's say the people who've liquidated their assets and they've built themselves a bunker 100 feet under the Yeah, ground. They've, wasted, they've wasted a lot of money that they could have used in a, okay. in a far better way. So that's important. You're saying, for sure, because you know, on record, no nuclear war. Let me say this for sure. Mm. Mistakes happen. Okay. Obviously. Mm. You know, nuclear mistakes even. Okay. But there is no um, perceived plan to okay. do that on their oh, part. Okay, good. So that's one thing you said you wanted to knock on the okay, head. So that's there, that. Is there more? Um, so 2012, something's going to hit us out of the space. Uh, you know, something's going to, some natural massive phenomenon is going to happen. People talk about a pole shift, you know, which yeah, has happened about, in the past. Um, and uh, Nerubo and, and all that. Yeah, mm. we're, we're, I've been told that we're a binary system. A binary system? Yeah. But nothing to worry about? No. Something to worry about? Uh, no, okay. nothing to worry about the fact that it's a binary system and the 2012, if you want to take that stupid film, that's, you know, no. There right. will be some difficulties because of solar mm. activity, I've been told that, around, in and around that time. But they're not even accurate. They, you, know, you can't, mm. no one can predict what the sun is about to do. Okay. They can say, you know, this happens at that certain mm. time, you know, mm. and it's not my field, so I don't really want to right. talk about that. But no, I've been told that, you know, well, we've all been told because of our business assets and so on, that you know, it might be a good idea to have uh, some sort of uh, electromagnetic protection for your equipment. Right, that's important. Around that time. That's it. And but it's not going to be the end of the world. You know, we are talking mm. about you know something that happened. It's happened a hundred years ago. Yes. It's but, documented, and, and and people and it, and it's been documented that it is coming. It's not a secret. Yes. Is this? Is this 2013? Yeah, this 2012, 2013. Like, like I said, okay. you can put a number, and you know, there you go with your calendar again. Right. Okay. We're, we're on a ball flying through space. What are you talking mm. about calendars for? It's, it's nonsense. Okay. It's education that you had that wasn't needed. Okay. So what you're saying, this is, this is a running summary here. You're saying that, there, that, that the solar system is a binary system, but that's not in itself a problem. Yeah. There is going to be some heightened solar activity probably. Can I just stop you there? Yeah. I'm not saying that because right. I'm not an educated... I'm, I've, you're saying I know as much... I know nothing about that. This is, I only get involved if something's going to damage me. Yes. And if something um, is being said that I might take heed of, uh, it will be um, stopped when yes. I ask the question. But I don't want an education on it. I just ask, is that something I've got to worry about? Yes or no? No, it isn't. Okay. All right? And that's what I'm saying. Don't get me into the science of it because I have no idea. Yes. Yeah. But... These are things that have come up in conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come up in conversation. Yes. Like I said, sometimes yeah. alternative media get it right. Okay. And you've got reason to believe that when those things did come up in conversation, no one was bullshitting you. No, that's right. It was they just, wouldn't. this is just you the way it was. Me. Okay. Right. Okay, good. Not because so, of any threat. You just wouldn't. Hmm. That'd be, that, that would muck it all up, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be smart for them to do that no. if they want to work with you. No, exactly. Okay. Yeah, because I might decide that the bit of bullshit they gave me is a reason why I don't want to do what they want me to do. Right. Good. That's why I decided at a very early stage I wouldn't bullshit you. Yeah. Right. Smart. Right. Mm -hmm. Very. Right. Okay. Because I would have known. You would have known, and I knew you would have known. So, and that's actually kept things on a very even keel be between mm. us, mm. which which I I would like to think you've appreciated. Yeah, which is why I said I wouldn't use mm. body language on you, other right. than to help you. Right. Okay, back to what it is that we that that that, that is is real here. You talked yeah, about a little okay, bit yeah. of solar. So we, we were on the list, weren't we? Okay, so we got twenty twelve. There is going to be some solar activity. There is going to be a problem with the poles, but not um, a problem. Problem, uh, not something that uh, um, is going to cause. They don't think it's going to cause massive disruption. However, preparations okay. are being made. Prop can you say anything more about that? Um, well, you all know. Everybody knows. Everyone knows about. You uh, mean the underground bases? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's millions okay. and millions. I, I, I can't even. I don't know what the figure is for England, mm. but um, or I don't know what the figure is for America. Either it doesn't really interest me. But they have spent billions of dollars mm. um, finding places that can be tunnelled easily and then mm. going for it yes. in a way, you know. And what always amazes me is there are lorries going down there. Yeah, you know, and those lorries are driven by by guys that really should know better, mm. and should be saying, "Well, you know where I went today, dear," mm. and they don't. They just don't. Mm. It's amazing. That is one thing that actually amazes me quite mm. often. People just don't. Yeah. I'm getting paid eight hundred dollars a day to do it. All mm. right, mm. I won't talk about it. Yeah. 
This is something that's often occurred to me, the, the tens of thousands of people involved in construction and no one's saying If you want to look for a villain, mm. they're it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're you guys. Mm. And they're stabbing you right in the back for mm. money. Mm. Yeah. They're just taking the money, signing the non-disclosure agreement and, and just... Well, it's not even not, we, we, we're talking about truck drivers and people like that. You're talking okay. about people that were met in prison. Okay. And when you get out, go and see this guy. And you can drive a Pantechnican truck. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, he's going to pay you five, six grand a week to do it. Mm. And you just go here and drop the trailer and go back and get another one. Mm. And you do that okay. twice a day and we'll pay you $800 to do it. Okay. And this is a guy that was in prison for beating the living shit out of his wife. Okay. All right, so we're not talking about people. Just because someone can drive a lorry, don't make him a dis decent blue-collar worker. I got gotcha. you. Yep, I got gotcha. you. All right. Is there any... If you're looking for a villain in the whole thing, they're mm. it. And that's you lot. Mm. When you say you lot, you mean the people who are not part of the, the, the inside structure. Yeah, yeah. Just people who are taking the money and... And running. And running. Yeah. yeah. I believe it. And there's certain individuals in there that are mm. feathering their own nest. They're digging their own holes. Yes. Because they thought, well, if you're doing it, okay, which is an odd one, but yeah, that does happen. Now, a couple of minutes ago, when we were talking about the nuclear war being off the table or not happening, mm. you said that the guys who are heading for the hills are are wasting their time, mm. or at least not for that reason. Is yeah, there any yeah. is there any reason why somebody heading for the hills and getting a little little farm and little community? Oh well, and, if you're going to say farm, that's completely different. That's very right. wise. Why is that wise? Well, you could argue that as well. That could be very foolish because if I haven't got anything to eat and you've got a farm, you're in serious trouble. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a farm, you better have some geographical... An island would be good. Mm -hmm. Why? What's happened? What's going because, to be coming down the line? Um, well, again, I, I believe that, you know... Uh, no, it's not even... It's, it's, it's the wrong way to start that. Um, people know about companies. Mm -hmm. And we ought to be very careful about naming those companies at this point mm -hmm. um, because it's actionable. All right. And it will be actioned. I okay. can assure you that has been put on the table. This is what's going to happen. If, people, if the alternative media start using names of large companies, they are going to find things very difficult for them. They will be prosecuted. Uh, their finances will be destroyed. Yeah. Okay. So you're... So I'm not going to... referring to food. Yes, you're talking to, so you're referring to large companies who are dealing with food? Yeah. Okay. Everyone knows here genetically what you're modified talking about. food. Genetically modified and food. And if you're a farmer in Wisconsin, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about, and you've just jumped up in your chair and said, finally, someone's oh. going to say. All right. So what's... Because they've been living it for years. Yeah. So what's going on there? This is a big one, isn't it? This yeah, is it, important. Is. It, is, it is. If you want to worry about something, that's what you want to worry about. Okay, so tell me. Um, you know, and there's no time frame on this. This has been being rolled out for years. Mm -hmm. As I said, go to the Midwest, mm -hmm. ask any guy there who he's had to deal with and the tactics they've used when he didn't want to do it. There's a very, very small number of farmers that use their own seed now. Mm -hmm. And they are ridiculed, disenfranchised, hounded, um, almost, well, criminalised. Hmm. in their own communities for mm -hmm. not towing that line. Yeah. Um, so planting what's, their own seeds, you know. So what's all that about? Why is this happening? Well, now, I, I'll tell you straight away, you, you, immediately, as, as I said, that guy jumps up and says, yay, mm. there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of other people that mm. have been uh, brought into mm. a way of thinking that genetically modified crops is the only way to feed the population mm. in, in the, the size it is. Right. And that equation works. It is. It yes. does. That is the only way. If the population is the size it is. Okay. Yeah. So if we stop using genetically modified crops, we are evil because we are making the poor man starve. Right. Yeah. Because it's the only way we're going to be able to produce enough crops for that poor man. Okay. Yeah. So immediately I'm a demon now because I've, I've, I've dared to cross the the genetically modified crop issue by saying that it's not good. Yeah, but straight away they'll yes. say, well, we, you know, you're, you're a 
you're evil because that, if you start making people think that or people take this video seriously, etc., and they start actively pursuing but that, you know, in their state or their uh, county, um, there is a trial. Well, we're past mm. the trial stage now, aren't we? There are fields mm. um, that are being used uh, mm. like that. Um, they will say straight away, you know, this is a good thing because mm. it, it enables higher yield. Yes. Um, so therefore, we will have surplus, so we can send it to people that need it. Yes. Yeah, because of the population is the size it is. Mm. Yeah. So the only way it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and, and to dissent on it is evil because you're going to make people starve. Right. Okay. So what you're saying is that this that this is being sold as being a good thing because it's mm -hmm. the way to it solve the problem. Thing. Mathematically, you wouldn't be able to argue it. It okay. is a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Until so, someone turns the switch off, uh, and then right. it's a really bad thing. Yes. Turning the switch off, meant as a metaphor, mm. what's, what's the switch? Can you help people understand what that would be? Well, I, a farmer You're can talking... understand what I've said straight away. If mm -hmm. I don't give you that seed anymore because you don't pay your bill. Okay. So I'm talking about something that disrupts that system that's yeah, been set Yeah, you literally, you, 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 mm. I mean, you know, I'll educate you, but mm. um, you know about, you know, they're buying seed that it will not, will not reproduce, yes? Yes, yes. Okay, when it's grown, that's that. Yes. And you're not allowed to store mm. seed that is able to grow and reproduce. Right. That's actually almost criminal now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They will hound you if you've got that kind of seed. Because okay. they want to stamp that kind of seed out. So you're totally dependent on what, you're, what, what comes on a lorry every year. Yes. Okay. Is that farming? Yeah, right. It so, takes away the very essence of farming. Yeah. So you're saying that then if that structure... Is, 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 is interrupted in some way, then the whole house of cards comes down. Yeah. Okay. And what you're saying then, I haven't heard you say this just now, but it sounds to me like what you're saying then is that this is planned and engineered, that this is going to happen, they're going to do this? Absolutely. Right. You said that without even thinking about it. It's like, yes, absolutely. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. But, yeah. And that'll be when the time's right. When the time because tried. there is no time, which is always makes me love people make predictions. Yeah, they are in that seventy percent of the of uh, the alternative media that are complete idiots. Yes, because as soon as someone you know, is an interesting thing for you, as soon as someone puts a date on it, we won't do it. That's the end of it. Right. Right. Credibility yeah. out the window. Yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity to destroy someone's credibility Brilliant. by mentioning a date. We love it when they do that. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's easy to understand. And a couple of your friends have done that. Yes. Yeah. Right. And, of course, it hasn't happened. Right. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Um, back to the big scenario here. He's saying this is a big one. Mm. They're planning to disrupt the food supply and distribution. No, not disrupt it. Not disrupt it? Control it. Control it. Yeah. So if you mm. um, live in Brazil, mm -hmm. you're going to be all right. Okay. If right. you live um, Africa... Mm -hmm. Not right. Uh, yeah. I mean, they've already got problems anyway. It's probably a bad. Yeah, they got they got problems. Anyway. Well, there's parts of Africa that haven't. They're very, you know. Okay. Very, you know, productive. Well, how about Europe? Uh, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. What? So. And definitely America, of course. I'll take that as a yeah. red. Yes. Just to cut to the chase here, what you're talking about is the deliberate. Um, creation of of a state of famine where a lot of people are going to die. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that would be the result. That would be the result. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is what happens when you haven't got any food. You starve to death. Yes. Do you know... It's hard to find the geezer who's got his finger on the trigger, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because it just looks like something... Yes. It, it just looks like something that's sort of happening. Yeah. Um, and it's been looking and sort of like sort of happening for the last seven years. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. And don't take my word for it. Do your research. You'll see why you know, it's there, Bill. Yeah. It's nothing hidden. Yes. This is something you said to me over and over again. It's all there. It's got to be. It's all there. Fair play, if it's you want to use your mm. phrase. Yes. It's all out there for people who are smart enough to look yeah, and see. Yeah, because if you figure it out, mm. you're accepting, aren't you? Okay. Especially so, if you can do something about it. Right. So, Captains do, of industry and so on. Yes. Do you know, maybe you don't know, but do you know what the, what the target figures for population reduction are? No. Okay. Are, 
do those figures exist? I would presume so, yes. Okay. Because there's... Uh, well, I mean, to do any model, first of all, you know, mm. any, you know, you need a business plan, don't you, for anything? Right. And, of course, a lot of people watching this will know that the, the so-called target or, or the ideal population uh, number as stated on the Georgia Guidestones is 500, 500 million, isn't it? Okay. 500 million. Yeah. What do you know about the Georgia Guidestones? Um, right. You educate me. They found who'd done it yet? No. Um, it was a pseudonym. Somebody called somebody Christian, I think. Um, the the guy has never been located. One person has said, "Yes, I did this." Ah, oh, yeah, no, no, discount that. I'm, I'm, okay. Yeah, no, I'm talking about. Has it been proved? No, no, no. Right. No. no. And it won't be. Right. I shouldn't think. Be very surprised. Okay. Uh, you're interested in the George guys. I just want. Not particularly. Where do they come from? That's what interests you. Uh, it looks like a manifesto. It's a manifesto in eight languages, uh, carved in, in stone, out in the open. Um, a lot of people have drawn attention to this. The 500 million figure has been drawn attention to over and over again. I've done that myself. It looks like a, looks like a manifesto, you know, like this is what we're going to do. Then perhaps it is. Then perhaps it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. So... You're de- All right, no problem. You're saying it's a manifesto. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it could be, couldn't it? It looks like one, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. This is where I'd love to have a camera right here to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, so, from that point of view, and uh, as as and I know that you're not in the game of giving advice, and I understand why that is, because it really is about letting le- letting things roll. But. If, if I said to you, which I haven't, by the way, but if I said to you, you know what, I'm going to go and head for the hills in Ecuador and get myself a little community and a little organic farm and we're going to have our own water supply and our own fruit trees and chickens and ducks and rabbits and, we've, and our own power generator and we're going to sit there for 20 years and we're all a happy family and everything's just going to be fine and we really want to do that, mm-hmm. would you, and you'd say, well, why did you do that then? It sounds like a good idea. That's the kind of thing you're saying, right? Yeah. 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 And if you're non-combatant, mm. you'd probably be left alone. Yes. Because how many people are you talking about? I mean, seriously, it's yes. very hard to do that. With well, any real longevity, if you ever really could look mm. into self-subsistence, it's mm. very hard to do. Mm. We're not that animal anymore, really, are we? Oh, yeah. We were much better off in the Victorian days. Mm. Yeah, we are in real trouble now. Knowledge is, is gone. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and that's no, by no coincidence. That's when, yeah. when you, you see what mm. I'm saying? It's there, you know, you don't need to grow that anymore. We put it in the shelf. You know, go and buy cornflakes. You don't need corn. Yeah. Right. Yes, yes. People, yes, I know. It, 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 it's a so very, you lose the ability, don't you? It's a very clever game that's being, that's being played. People are become, they've become so dependent on a system that if the bubble bursts, they, all they can do is stand there. All they can do is stand there in their underwear. They're hamburgers with legs. Yeah, all right. Hamburgers with legs? <laughs> I haven't done that one before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you do. You know, yeah, everyone does. You know, you, you, know, you need yeah. to kind of look around you. Okay. Now, so can we then go on to why would they do this? Why would they do this? Let's put this in context for a moment here. Mm-hmm. And this is very important. Because earlier on, we were talking about the gentlemen who are calling the shots, who are making the decisions, we were referring to them together as um, respectable people who are operating with integrity, who believe that they're doing the right thing. They don't have an identical viewpoint about things, but Mm. they're very much together. Mm -hmm. And then somebody else watching this would say, wait a minute, we're talking about mass murder, Mm. but... How do you fit well, we're this not together? Really talking about mass murder, are we? No one's holding a gun, are they? All right. And who who did it? You're talking about control, right? You're talking about controlling the conditions. Sequenced events. Yeah. Taking advantage of what yes. happened. But you're talking about controlling situations, so that a kind of Darwinian natural selection occurs. That's right, yeah. And the smartest and the fittest and the best problem solvers and the people who can see what's coming and the people who are maybe a lot of the people watching this video 
because Absolutely. they're smart enough to watch well, the video. Well, they're already waking up, aren't they? They're, they're already, already looking up. at what you're saying or yeah. the alternative media are saying. Yes. Mm. So there's a small group of people here, relatively small compared very small, with... Very small, really. Very small. Very small. Who, if they take heed of all of this, are likely to make it through. This well, is well, okay. I think that might be stretching it a little bit. More likely to make it? What would you mm. say? Well, as I said, we've been debilitated quite a lot, so it depends. If that individual is someone that's got the ability mm. to self-survive, you know, can yes. farm, can do this, can do that, yes. well, then, yeah, they've got, yes. they got to jump on it now. They know they've got to do it. And yeah. If they've got the ability, they can. Yes. But if you don't, then you're probably just as lost as everybody else, aren't you? You just know you're lost. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm in that category, so I don't know which end of a carrot is up. There you go. You know. But... I'm smart enough to, to find someone that does. To find somebody who does and to work well with them. Okay, so in, 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 in that, in some in that way. context, yes, they probably would have a better chance. Yes. If okay. you look at it like that. But, but that, re that requires cooperation. A, and this is one of the traits which would be a good survival characteristic. Yeah, and you often find that people that are in, in, involved in the alternative media do tend to cooperate with each other a lot better. Yes. Because the angst isn't there. Right. You know, the anger, the, the, the uh, imprinted anger on everybody. Yes. You know, uh, that cop show. Right. Yes. Uh, this film. Yes, you know, yes. His car's bigger than your car. Yes. All the stuff that we're being conditioned yeah, to. Look at my gold chain. Yes. Where's your paper? Who are you? All the, all, you know, all the Hollywood don't stuff. Don't do that to me. Yeah. I'm bigger than you. So yeah. that just creates a whole yeah. ethos, doesn't it? You know? uh, right. And that's nothing new to anyone. Anyone knows it's more violent out there than it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where do you think that comes from? But, yeah. We know this, though. This is, this, is yes. no new, this is not new ground. We know the media have been... Everybody knows, yes. Yeah, you know. Most of the people watching this won't watch a lot of television. No. A, that, a lot of them won't watch a, any. That is another trait you find. Because they, yes. it, it makes them uncomfortable. You do find that certain individuals are predisposed to find that situation uncomfortable. Yes. Because the television has replaced the fire. We all used to sit around the fire and look at the different shapes, and those shapes arrive for stuff. Every vampire story, horror story, you got, comes mm. from a fire because mm. that's where storytelling started. You sat around the fire, and that was. It. And now the television's a fire. It flickers. It's yeah. light. Yeah. But the problem is, it's not, is it? No. Sure. It's a medium. that Every, is a direct yeah. link to your brain. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen people sitting there. Sometimes yeah. they sit there with their mouths open. Yeah. Literally dribbling. Yeah. Because yeah. they're so engrossed in what they're looking at. And they're lost, those people. Yeah. You know. Uh, okay. I'll give you, for instance, run in their room and smash their telly and watch what happens. They'll jump up and attack you mm. without even thinking about it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, or there would be a violent response instantly. Nine times out yeah. of ten. Seriously, yes. you know, they, yeah. I really do believe that. Yeah. Um, it's the drug of choice. Yes. The drug of the masses. And it works. And it will yes. continue to work. Mm. And if you and uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's let's say let's give your viewers a a task. Turn it off for fourteen days. Mm. Nothing. Mm. Not even what you want to watch. Not even watch you. Mm. Nothing. Mm. Mm. And see how they feel about mm. everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Their wife. The world would change, is what you're trying to say. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I do believe that. Well, it's not. It's not. And no one would do that. Yeah, yeah. It's not hard to believe, is it really? You know. No. Not at all. Okay. I, I want to get back to the point, if, if I may. Um, the reason why they're doing this, this is a question, and this is f what I've been able to figure out from the conversations that we've had, is that it's, it's a filter in place, or it's a bar to jump over, or it's a situation to survive, where some people will make it and most won't being set up that way. Why would anyone do that? The only answer I can think of is because they're, they're trying to, they're actually trying to not only cull the herd, if you think of a forest keeper with a deer in the forest, trying to make the forest a better place and trying to take, make the deer a healthier, stronger herd. Part of that guy's job is to get a shotgun out and to pick some of the yeah, deer. Yeah, a shotgun, out. not a nuclear weapon. Exactly. Because it's indiscriminate. You said that earlier on. So that, that's why that won't... Just, the very argument you're making there is why that won't happen. That's, that's why I said what I said there. Mm. Yeah, because it's indiscriminate. Mm. Whereas what I hear you saying here is, this, is that this setup with, a, with an engineered situation of famine and food shortage is that 
there will be certain people who will make it through, besides the people in the underground bases. On the surface, so to speak, you would have people who are equipped to solve problems, to grow food, to see things coming, to form communities, to work with each other, to troubleshoot, and also they'd be physically tough. Yeah, the ones that turn the television off. Uh, well, right. Um, and then at the end of whatever happens, then you've got what in one or two presentations I did, you call them human race 2.0. You've yeah, actually yeah. got a... Yeah, analogy, yeah. You've actually got a sort of... I mean, it's not a genetic You're asking upgrade. Why, they, why would they do that? Why would they do that? Are you able to say something about the human race being an experiment about optimization of the genome and that the, and that, and, and that the 33 believe themselves to be the guardians of the experiment at this level in some way? Yes. What we're actually doing is trimming the fat off. Right. The, the surplus. that shouldn't yeah. have been there in the first place. Yes. But was created by the machine itself. Yes. Um, now is a problem. Okay. In a previous conversation we had, I described it to you as like downsizing a company. Mm. When you've got a lot of, when actually because of automation that you've got in the factory, you can actually let go of the men. Ninety percent of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Or if you've got a company that's in difficulty. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we say the world's a company and it's in difficulty, mm -hmm. um, and it's not going to survive because financially it can't. It's got too big and slow. Okay. So in comes a liquidator mm. and he ch chops off all the bits that don't really work, shrinks right. it down, puts the money from that process in the bank and therefore the shareholders are very happy because you've now got a working concern that's lean, mean and ready to go again. That sounds to me... And we're talking about like financial people here, right? I understand that. I understand that. The thinking of it... So if you want in a terms format of, and a reason, yes. look for any downsides yes. or liquidation. Yes. So it's like for so, which again is sequence driven. Yes, I understand that. What I heard you say then is like corporation planet Earth needs needs to be licked into shape in the way that and you is described. That a bad thing? If, we, if it's not yeah. going to make it, mm. if they believe mm. that it's not going to make it, are they doing an evil thing? If you kill three hundred men to mm. save thirty thousand, are you a murderer? I hear your question. I hear your question. And if we were talking with those people here on camera and if they were able to talk about this themselves mm. and I know that they feel that they're not mm. um, would need one what yeah sure but what you are saying is that that is the way that they see it yes, the, that way that the way that they see it. they see it that they they believe they're doing a responsible mm. job mm. is the reason why they don't talk about this openly perhaps this is a dumb question actually but let me ask it anyway is the reason why this is not being talked about openly that they believe that as in that that movie with Jack Nicholson a few good men people cannot handle the no truth. absolutely I mean you, mm. I've, I've told you you're going to exercise caution with what I will tell you yes um, and there's a good reason for that because it's yes. going to upset a lot of people yes and with good reason Yes. But the funny thing is, when you get to the end of the night, any person that jumps up in front of you and says, you know, oh, if you then take that person down and sit them down somewhere and you, if you could inject them with someone that will make them calm down and coherently listen to you long enough for you to explain, they're mm. probably going to end up on the same bus as them mm. because it does make sense. If it's going to break, mm. you know, uh, it's got to be fixed. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. What you're saying then, or rather, what you're saying, they're saying, is that, to use your words, planet Earth is broken, and this is a way to fix it. This is their best solution. Mm. And then what, what I also hear you saying, and, and I also need to say that I'm trying to steer a balanced role here as an interviewer, because mm -hmm. I want to, want to help people understand what you're saying, and what the people are, 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 feeling and believing and doing who you have been in that room with for 10 years, which is what you described. Mm. You're saying that they are being as responsible as they know to fix planet Earth because it's broken, basically. Yes. That's, yeah. yeah. Do you, if I can ask you a direct question, do you believe this yourself? Yes. You do? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So... That's a personal opinion. Yes. 
That's what I was asking for. Thank you for that. And I do believe that you do believe that. Yeah. Because I knew you were... Yeah, you, you, you've had conversations you, with me and, you know, for a long time. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And I'll talk- argue with you about it. Yes. Well... Because I know you don't believe that. Well, that's a bit of a complicated <sighs> one. Let's not get into that one. Well, no. It, let me just make a statement about this, just for myself. Okay. Because it would be quite easy at this point for people to think that I am, that because I'm reporting what you're saying, that you are, I'm in yeah, agreement yeah. with it. Yeah. And I am trying to do a very responsible job as an interviewer here. I find, if I step back from the whole thing mm. and look at this whole thing from somewhere else in the galaxy, it's, a, it, 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 it's an extraordinary situation. Mm. It's just that when people start thinking, well, wait a minute, this is going to happen to me and my loved ones, then it starts to become more difficult, Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, well, your dad, you're in the river, mm. and it's freezing cold, mm. and one kid can't swim very well, and you can't get to him. Mm. And that kid's right there. And yeah. you know you've got 10 seconds to get out, or none of you make it. Yeah, That's a tough decision, but that uh, dad will make that decision. Yes, 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 yes. And, and then have to live with it. Yeah. Yes. I understand that. That's a good analogy. Um, my own position, which I can state clearly, but it, but it doesn't have the benefit of, of billions of dollars worth of research, data, computer modeling, and everything else. It's a feeling. Mm-hmm. My feeling is that it is possible, it is possible that the human race can solve this problem in a different way with the right kind of leadership and the right kind of information and the right kind of responsible sharing of information okay i can't drill down below well that, i'll tell you what if you but, come up with that mm. and, it, and it is then i'll be with you yeah you gotta understand i'm not making a choice here i'm I making do. a i'm making a logical choice i understand what you're saying i, I, do I, I don't agree yes with everything but i'm you yes. know nor did dad yeah as he watched the other kid i understand what you're saying but my feeling as i just described it very very briefly is my feeling is that there is a way out of this. Okay, right. You explain the way out of this and but, I'll come with you. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's our second interview. Because maybe it, I, maybe because it I, is. Because I don't have a prepared answer for that. It's no. just a feeling. And I'm just sharing that with you as a mate. It's just well, like, that, this is, is what that I feel. would be a hell of an answer, wouldn't it? Yeah. And you may even get your point. You may yeah. even get your chance to put that point. Yes. And I, I'm stating this for a reason. I believe that there is an alternative. I don't believe that that there is no other way. I just do not believe there's no okay. other way. I just don't believe But then again, you're not in, in possession of all the facts, are you? And yeah, that's, yet. That's what I said. I don't have all the information. Okay, yeah. I don't have the access to computer modeling. I don't yeah. have access to data connection. Okay. And I haven't been thinking about this for the last okay. 100 years, mm-hmm. or however long they've been thinking okay, about it. Okay, so by that same mm. token, mm. do you not think that they really have thought about it? And a lot of work has been done, and maybe that devil's advocate was played at some point? I hear what you're saying. If that, but if this is also the case, and this this loops back to our earlier conversation mm-hmm. th- that that we had in this interview, that if I am responsibly trying to look at this problem, saying, "Wait a minute, guys, isn't there another way to solve this?" Mm-hmm. Then that that actually would be respected. That would yeah. be respected. Uh, that that wouldn't be regarded. I mean, you've been in problem solving meetings with people. If somebody in the back says, wait a minute, I've got an idea, he's not necessarily going to be a nuisance. No, he's, he's, got, be... he's got 20 seconds, hasn't he? All right. <laughs> Before he's told to shut up. Okay, yeah. Because you, know, he, yeah. you better have a coherent argument. You only get one stab. Okay, I hear what you're saying. And no one individual could do it. I okay. think there's going to be one messiah who's just completely ludicrous. Mm. You'd be hard pushed out. I mean, look at the resources that we've got. Mm. Mm. And... The, <laughs> You know, you're saying that they, you think there may be another way. Fine, I'm not going to argue with you about mm-hmm. that. That's your opinion, okay? Mm. And I respect your opinion. Mm. But you're standing there as one individual saying that, so I'll take it like that. Yeah. Okay. Because to put together a coherent argument against that size of argument with mm. that much data mm. behind it, you better okay. make sure you come prepared. Okay. And I take that point very seriously because because a few lines of 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 passionate belief in itself isn't going to save the world. And you're a practical man. You're talking about getting space. What you want is, or what you would like to see happen, if you're able to live to see it, 
is to see Spaceship Earth and the human race in good shape. Am I right about that? I really don't care. You're <laughs> okay. You really, but you do care a little bit, no, don't, I don't you? No, you don't. No. All right. Okay. Okay. You just want to see that guy in the back of the room be heard for twenty seconds. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, I got it. All right, I got that. Now, in this very, very interesting conversation we're having here. Are you able to say anything about the context and the backdrop to the whole history of this planet and the human race, or is that off record? I'm not talking about the detail, I'm talking about the generality of it. I've seen documented evidence, and I've been, I've been shown things. Uh, I've been told things about the pyramids that just make sense. It just makes sense. Yeah. And I know that people like Arthur C. Clarke knew things, mm -hmm. but they, again, had weaknesses yes. that put them in, in his case, Sri Lanka, yes. uh, out of reach. Mm -hmm. um, you know, go and read his books. I'm sure you have. Yes. Uh, you know, the guy is more or less responsible for the satellites that we yes. use today mm -hmm. and the idea behind them. You know, this mm -hmm. is a genius. Mm -hmm. well, he wasn't really. Mm -hmm. He just knew. Mm -hmm some stuff, he was present at things. Um, and until they go and, uh, if, until they go back to the moon and put that in a capsule and bring it back, that to me would be quite something. If they bring that piece back, then, then okay, I might jump on the bandwagon with everybody else on that one. But yeah, you know, I'm just, I've seen some stuff and I've been, I've had stuff to explain to me, which does make a hell of a lot of sense, yes. Okay. Now here, you see what I'm saying, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Now, what the big picture is here, which we haven't actually talked about between us, is extraterrestrial involvement. You've got to be very careful about that. Oh, I just put the question bluntly, you know, most people, you know, all mm. the alternative media and a lot of people now, I mean, mm. just look, go back to the 50s, right? Mm. If you ask the ordinary man in the street, Wolf from Snow in England, mm. whether he believes in aliens, he'd laugh his head off and go and get some pie and mash. If you ask him today, he may well say, yeah, there has got to be something. Because he's educated, he knows that that vast the universe. And he's being conditioned by Hollywood movies yeah, and television yeah. series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is all part of what yeah. the, the... I mean, we are being prepared yeah, to come to are. terms yeah, with this. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. not for the reasons you think. For what reasons? They're going to have nothing to do with us. They're the, there. If you, all right, okay. The ETs so are going to have... Be, this, this, this right. call a spade a spade. Yeah. yeah, they exist. There is no conjecture. They, they do. Yeah, there is stuff. But you know what? That's no big surprise to 50% of people, shall we say. Right. But that number's gone up, hasn't it? You know, the, the yeah. more and more people realise, you know, more mm. and more, you know, NASA have got more and more slapdash mm. about and, and cannot because of the, the very thing they've created, the media monster behind mm. trying to get money for the space race. Yes. Uh, is still there from the 60s. Yes. Um, and people, there is a lot of people that are very interested in it. Mm. Uh, and so because of that, cameras are on the shuttle. And because yes. of the internet and various people that are clever with the internet, Mr. McKinnon and people like that, mm. who I know very well. Did you know Gary McKinnon? I used to, I'll tell you a story about him later on. Off record? Yeah. That's a shame. Okay. All right. Um, We're talking about cameras on the shuttle and people yeah, are clever with computers. To, what I'm trying to say is um, you can't, there's so many now. Yes. You can't keep your lid on everything. You're saying it's impossible to yeah, hide yeah. the reality. And there's a certain piece of mm. um, video that is quite prevalent on the internet, of a circular thing behind, rolling behind a tether. Yes, I know that one. That's factual. Yes. A couple of miles across, mm -hmm. but it's not a ship, mm -hmm. and things aren't what you think they are out there. You should regard space more as an ocean. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. We've got no right to turn around and say intelligent or unintelligent, mm -hmm. you know, because then what you're doing, you're com mm -hmm. comparing things to your intellect, aren't you? Okay. And how can you compare that to a human? Are you stating this as a fact? Absolutely. A fact. And what you're talking about here is you're talking about large, large living beings, like big kind of... And small. And small living and beings. Look at it this way. If you've got a shark swimming through the ocean, he's mm. got fish swimming all around him most of the time, mm -hmm. picking up morsels, mm -hmm. um, servicing him, mm -hmm. and he doesn't eat them. Mm -hmm. They go right in his mouth. Yes, yes, yes. And come out, you know, that's a natural thing, yeah? Yeah. Is it so far-fetched for you to understand that that could be the situation out there? Okay. 
But at the same time, there are some what we could regard as metallic craft, things that you could call spacecraft right. as well. Yeah. Right. But I'll tell you what, I've got an axe to grind here. So let me grind my axe. Right? You do that. Okay, so here you are, you're an alien, yeah, you're on mm -hmm. the other side of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. yeah. You're in Orion, you're in Orion, yeah, yeah. You're that far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're in your ship and you're flying all the way here. And you cross intergalactic space in a fantastic piece of machinery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you get in, and then you crash in Nevada. Right. Rubbish. Okay. Rubbish. Mm. She was shot down. Okay. That's what you, that's what happened to you. Yeah. Because you didn't think that there was any kind of particle weapon that, or kinetic weapon that could do that. Yes. Well, you wasn't prepared because it was the first time you came. Yes. That was. It was got something to do with radar, wasn't it? They discovered that radar would actually do this. Yeah. Uh, am I right? Uh, well, it was what, quite what? an aggressive. It wasn't an accident. Okay. I've got you. So you're saying that the, that the so-called crashes weren't crashes, they're actually offensive actions, which and were I discovered... I ask you to understand that because you don't cross into galactic space and then crash in Nevada, do you? I, I understand that. You see, that's, yeah. that's, 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 my, that's my axe there, so sorry, go on. I've got you, that's fine. So you're saying that initially there was a way of bringing the craft down that was discovered by accident, more and, then, and then it was, uh, more or less, and then it was fairly quickly... A deliberate attempt. ...utilised. Um, yeah. amazing that it worked yes right and then when it did oh so it's a lucky hit yeah. and then they started to get focused about it yeah because... well they realized that it could be done and then went down the avenue of trying okay. to figure out how they done it and what okay. actually did cause it and they needed to, to look at the thing that they brought down to do that yes and then and then they educated them so yeah. they became much better at it yes because then you got the the um the Americans mainly, I guess. W was it only the Americans? Or did no, this happen in every country? No, no. Just drop the borders and, okay. and the nationalities. Okay. So then you got people who are pretty smart, mm -hmm. who got their hands on this ET technology, and that was never part of the setup. That was never part of the plan. Was no. It? it was never part of the plan. No. Okay. And what kind of problems has that caused? Well, you know what we're like. It's mm -hmm. not caused. They want to go. We're going to be the visitors. Mm -hmm. So that's what the selection's about. Okay, it's about creating a sort of space crew or or a a a, 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 Can we a new. Second hand, so. I understand that um, a new breed of humanity who will be well equipped to go off into the cosmos, like the Crusaders. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the Crusaders. Like the Crusaders, and it's like you give. It's like so. It's like you've got the spirit of the Crusaders, and you give them extraterrestrial technology to move with. There you go. And then... And are, are any of us in any doubt that we're going to start planet hopping within the next century? Mm -hmm. Are you actually in any doubt with the technologies available now? Because we're uh, doing it with robots. Personally, I'm in no doubt at all that we've got a Mars base. Oh, right, okay. Um, is this something you've ever heard about? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you say anything about that? No. All right. Okay. Do you want that off record? No. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, but for sure, m most people who I've spoken to about this subject, who really feel that they do know something about it, will say that we've got all kinds of technology that you wouldn't, you know, let's say that it makes the space shuttle look like a Model T Ford or, or, or perhaps a horse and buggy. So it implies that there are a lot of those crafts and we're very, very far advanced. Well, I'll tell you something about those craft that's never come out. Tell me. Right. You know, you've got side. You have. You go to Mexico and something's a mile across, and then you come to Nevada and it's six hundred feet across. Okay. It's triangular. Right. Yeah. All right. So how about it being ten triangles that can lock in together and fly in the same formation? Oh, okay. And then they can split. Okay. So they fit together like bricks. Yeah. Or like pieces. And can do that in motion. Okay. Is this some? And, and these are our craft you're talking about. Yeah. And modular. Yeah. And you're telling so you can see how easy that would be to yes. confuse every individual because one day it's a star and the next day it's a triangle. Okay. And then it can split up and go in all different directions. Okay. You try and explain that. It's got to be extraterrestrial, hasn't it? If it can split up into t 10 different pieces when it was one craft and okay. then disappear off quite quickly in all different directions. Okay. And you have been told this? I've not just been told it, I've seen it. You've seen it? Okay. Okay. Technology is hundreds of years further forward. Yes. Yes. And and 
and not just technology, you've got to understand, if you go back to, uh, let's, let's say everyone loves it, let's go back to the pyramids age, right? Mm. Um, if you knew, if you were in power at that point, and you knew about electricity, and the man in the street at that point, who was lugging stones around for you, you think, can you imagine how much more powerful you are than him? Mm. Look at what you've learned in the last couple of months and how it's changed your view on things. Right. Right? Point taken. Yeah. So times that by a million. Yes. And then put 5,000 years in the spin. Yes. So it's not a case of how many far, uh, how much, many years technology is ahead of you. It's a case mm. of how many years. How can I put that into words? I know what you're saying. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yes, yes, I do. And you're saying that 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 some of these crumbs have fallen off the table into the public yeah, sector, yeah, like yeah, onto absolutely. Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of it is kept behind the curtain for use of the the insiders with their own programs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And to keep the jump on everyone else, you can't tell them what you're doing. Yes. But when you've got to a point where you don't need to be doing that anymore, and it could make you an awful lot of money for what you want to do. Yes. And further your um, endeavours, mm. then you can let those crumbs out, can't you? Okay. Yes, okay. You let me send ask... them over to Beijing and get them made. Yeah. Let me ask you a question about this that I, I've been meaning to ask you for a while, and I, and I haven't asked this question to you yet, and that is that, is it possible that there are sectors, say, of, of, of American military private enterprise, what Eisenhower called the military industrial complex that are working on things and know things and have control of things that that the 33 aren't party to is it possible that there are things that they're not party to and that some yes, people yes have... but only because they don't want to be party to okay if it became interesting no they would do nothing out of their grasp nothing out of their grasp no because what they'll mm. do is they'll find they'll financially help it along stop it okay get control of it. You can when you've got all the power. Okay. Okay. All the knowledge, shall we say. Which is why, which is why basically what you're saying is that money opens all the doors. Cool. But you're not really talking about money. I no, mean, not at all. Not, no, I mean, it's, it's not... It's not a concept I even, yeah. I even want to talk about. It's not like it's nonsense. money in the bank account. It's the control that comes with the ability to, 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 to to shape the economics of nations through a decision that somebody makes. Is that yeah. the kind of thing we're talking about? Yeah, it's, it's I remember you described at an earlier stage, you described that these 33, each of these individuals, they should actually be seen as like nation states in themselves, yes. in terms of policy making, yeah, economic there is no influence. Or nationalities, that is all pointless, all of that. Yeah. So that's just part of it's the part wrapping of the, of the package. Yeah, yeah it's part yeah. of the plan. It's part of the, it's part of the, dis it's, it's part of the education. Yes. Yes. It makes you fight amongst yourself. Divide and conquer. Yes. Can you say anything about the, the what geopolitical changes we might expect? Like, for instance, there are a lot of people watching this. New World Order. In all that stuff. Yeah. The North American Union, you know, based on the economic. Yeah. The if it's European proven for them model. to do it and it helps okay. for the model, yes, they'll do it. They'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all those things are on the table. But mm. as soon as you draw too much attention to any of them, depending on their importance, mm. where, what your longevity is, or the audience longevity is, that they, they'll roll it out again in another 100 years. Uh, okay. Because um, if you draw attention to it, they won't do it. And your credibility will go out of window. Yes. Global currency, same thing? Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's inevitable, though, Bill. Come mm. on. You know, okay. you know, if you know anything about economics, you know there's going to be one world government. It's the only right. way it's going to go. It's got yes. to. Okay. Okay. Um, there's likely to be the removal of borders between, like... The, financial the, borders. Financial borders. Mm. Well, okay. the borders won't be removed because that's how you keep people averse to each other. Okay. I've got it great over here. You're like shit. Okay. Right. Yeah, then you're arguing, right? Yes. So it's creating the dialectic, but the finances actually determine the real keep structure. Keep everyone's nose on the grindstone. Yeah. They can't look mm. up long enough to wonder what they're doing. Okay. Keep everyone arguing amongst ourselves about racial equality and yes. uh, sexual equality. Um, homophobic, you know, keep everyone arguing about everything because then they're yes. all arguing amongst themselves and we yes. know what we want to get on with. 
Okay. Let me ask you one more question, if I may. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is it going to be convenient to set up a false flag operation to depict the ETs as being enemies? It's on the table they're going to do it. That's on the table yeah, they're they going to do it. they will do that. That's what the craft are for. That's what the modular things are for. And it's already started. Okay. Do you know... Is, is, is this date forecast no, at all? No, no dates. No dates. No dates. dates. Get off of that. Just Never is. Okay. When people start amassing an opinion mm -hmm. and it reaches a crescendo, mm -hmm. that's when it will start. Okay. Okay. So, so you're asking me how long does it take the world's population to start getting worried about that? Okay. It sounds then as if, as if there would be a strategy to start informing people about the ET reality pretty quickly. Now, I presume this is kind of underway. <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh, 4th of July. Uh, what was the, V? Yeah, uh, all of that. Yeah. Independence Day. The event. Star, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Independence Day, I meant. Yeah, um, okay. And so on and so on. Terminate, right. whatever you like. But, are we ever going to get Obama holding a press conference saying, okay, uh, guys, Not we need him, to square with you? But someone will. Somebody will? Yeah. Do you know anything about that at all? No, because it's not there yet, is it? So it's not there they, yet. You, you, we, we're, there's a drip happening, yep. uh, and yep. the bucket, you're asking me how long that bucket's going to take to fill, but the drip might slow up or speed up. Yeah. You know, so that, re that, that makes my guess wrong. I wondered if, if any decision had been made about that, but you're saying it's just a general direction. They're going in a general yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, okay. technology's coming on. It's getting better. Yes. Yes. More convincing. Okay. So there's no hurry. Okay. Interesting. Meanwhile, make education suffer a little, so people are a little bit more dense than they have been. And uh, additives in food, additives in the water. Well, that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother yes. video. That's something I know quite a lot about. It, it, yes. Because it, you know my diet. Yes. Yes. Yes, so you kept yourself in good shape because you needed to. I understand that. So, pressing the pause button here, mm. and I know that there's some matters here that you need to attend to, mm. and this has been a longer interview than, than I'd anticipate. I want to thank you for that very no much. And... Um, it sounds as if there's quite a lot of material that we haven't yet had the opportunity to cover. I would like to ask you to consider the possibility of doing another one if neither of us get into serious trouble after doing this one. Okay, if neither of <laughs> us get into serious trouble for doing this one, I'll shake your hand on that. That's for good. So, I've got to remember to call you Charles. <laughs> Charles makes it sound very respectable. Okay. So we've got to try and do I something I do like to here. sound respectable. Mm, okay. So, thank you really thank you. You're welcome. Those of, those of you who have been watching this right through to the end here, you will appreciate that we've covered ground. Some things here have never been discussed anywhere, I don't believe, uh, in the media. It hasn't been permitted. We've got a kind of experiment in progress here because both uh, Charles and myself are going to be interested to see what happens over the next few days and weeks after this is released. Um, by the time you see this, it will have been edited appropriately, but probably not an awful lot. We're going to take out some little bit of um, uh, off-record conversation we had, off-record clarification, as is normal journalistic practice, and then I have promised that I will run this past him, past you, for your approval. And if you're seeing this now, it means that you've given it the nod. And then after that, as they say, we're letting it roll.